Tuesday. Hello, lads. Oh, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, Mr. West. Good morning, Rug. Brad is good morning. Thank you very much for the chat, love. Love, good morning. Harma, good morning. Greg, good morning. <laughs> good morning, good morning. How are we doing today? Are we having a happy Tuesday? Oh, nice bit of coffee. I haven't had it. I know, actually, you know, I have had some caffeine today already. Eight pixels. Good morning. Oh, oh, we're going to play some Nancy today. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. Oh, I fucking love Nancy Drew. Like we've been, um, we've been sitting and planning, you know, the streams, the upcoming ones. And I'm like, I just want to play. I just want to play Nancy. <laughs> I just want to play Nancy Drew. Good morning, Kellux. Love, thank you for the chat, love. Oh, we're at the Red House again. Didn't we say that this was somewhere in Southern, Southern America as well? Private investigator Nancy Drew. We've got some weather reports. We've got some weather and we've got some crime reports. Often the temperate, the temp, the tempest of desolation. <laughs> Cloudy with a chance of depression. <laughs> oh, Gellix. That made me laugh. Cloudy with a chance of depression. I'm going to start saying that. I'm going to start. When, <laughs> when someone asks me how I'm doing. <laughs> I like that. You know when you go into like the doctor's office and they're like, oh, how are you doing? And my auto, um, my auto response is, oh, I'm doing fine, doing great. Obviously not doing great if I'm at the doctor's. Uh, but I feel like I'd like to, I'd like to answer with that. <laughs> Good morning, drunk. Good morning, Ken. Remember as kids, we thought PIs were awesome and now we realize they just fall <laughs> Yeah, because I don't know, uh, PIs seem like they're above the law, you know? They're above the law, they're a renegade police officer, or, you know, kind of private investigator. Just arrest slash frame Ned and be done with it. I'm not, I think we'd have to marry him first so that we can get his, um, get his inheritance. Thank you very much, Mr. West, thank you. Detective Badger is a 70s UK TV show. It would be a puppet as well, wouldn't it? Do you remember Bodger and Badger, Bradders? You love Bodger and Badger. Badger fucking loved mashed potato, and they would sit in the um, they would sit in the airing cupboard of Bod like, oh, was it Badger's home or was it Bodger? I can't remember which which way around they were. Um, and eat mashed potato and sing the mashed potato song. They go mashed potato, mashed potato, mashed potato, mashed potato, mashed potato, mashed potato. Loved it. Bodger and Badger. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not sure Bugger would have made it onto <laughs> onto children's TV. Nancy's only 18. How long has she been with Ned for though, Rook? Feels like she's been with Ned for a long time. So I want to I want to play it but hang on let me just check this is the right clip. <laughs> I want to play something really <laughs> That's not right at all. Nancy Drew has taught us that private investigators don't follow cheating husbands that would cut into the ice cream <laughs> meeting time. Nancy Drew has taught us that private investigators spend a lot of time in the bathroom dealing with <laughs> lactose intolerance. Thank you Pixels. <laughs> Thank you. Hang on, let me, uh, let me turn this down. I'm 76. 76? <laughs> the puppet looks creepy. The puppet is an icon. I, oh, hang on, let me turn the sound off so you guys can't hear this. Christ. All right, you guys can listen to this. Everybody knows 
Badge loves mashed potato. <laughs> you know, I actually really don't like mashed potato. Hello again, my mashy mates. I'm pleased as potatoes to welcome you once again to Seagull's Rest. Bodger and Badger's bed and breakfast. <laughs> Hello again, my mashy mates. Hello oh, again, my mashy mates. Potatoes. My mashy mates. Oh, what the squelching was mashed potato. It sounds like a parody making fun of British people. I promise you, Paul. I promise you it's real. I promise. Hello, my mashy mates. To welcome you once again to Seagull's Rest. Bodger and Badger's bed I'm and pleased as potatoes. I wonder if I can get him singing mashed potato, um, potato song. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my Ned! You little boy. Oh shit, you guys can't hear it. Or too can. older than the 18 year old Nancy in the current series. Ned frequently sells insurance during <laughs> I, the summer. I, I realized, I realized as I turned the sound off, hang on. I'm Ned professional. Nickerson is often referred to as Nancy Drew's boyfriend. <laughs> I like it because I get to he hear it through again. He in the clue in the diary, the seventh volume in the series. Ned is described as a handsome and athletic young man who stands six feet and two inches tall. That's the point that I went all Ned. Eyes. When Nancy first meets him, six he is a sophomore two. at Emerson College. Oh boy. This makes him a year or two older than the 18-year-old Nancy in the current series. Ned frequently sells insurance during the summer. <laughs> I just love that he frequently sells insurance. <laughs> I like how like the opposite would be he infrequently sells insurance. Thank you, Gullix. Gullix, that was beautiful. That was great. Oh dear. Oh, no way. Really drunk. Is he enjoying it? <laughs> I can't just go and watch, can I? I want to, I want to, I'm getting too distracted. I'm really getting off topic here. I want to know, I want, I want to hear the mashed potato song and I also want to see if Frass is enjoying. Hang on. Uh, that's, I'll, I'll come back to you with the mashed, mashed potato song another day on the GOG channel. Mashed potato, mashed potato, mashed potato. Anything going on? Anything gonna happen? He's right at the beginning by the look of it. So I don't think he's, you know. So he wouldn't have come to the, the shocking realization. This is a React channel now. I will be consuming Frass's content. And um, reacting to it without you seeing it. It's like a podcast. Uh, I'm not gonna do it just yet. Yeah, Although, Frass hasn't. I'm Frass won't have come to the shocking right. realization that it's not a very good game yet. Now turn back. Uh, yes. And follow the GOG. Good to know, Ren. Yeah, this is React content. <gasps> oh my goodness! I am so shocked. I can't believe Frass would say that. Oh! Let's have a little sit down, shall we? Oh my God! Frass just sat down. Oh. Five hundred XP. That's how React. Uh, Ultimate. Reacts hard. <laughs> Tactical. Bite. Oh my goodness. Bite. <gasps> Blood. <laughs> I'm nice. sorry, Frats. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll leave. I'm sorry. Good day, Scooby. How you doing? I'll, I'll leave. Right. I'll leave Frats to. <laughs> leave Frats to. <laughs> to it. I have to. I have to tune in once he's played a bit more. More emotions. If I splash some water on my face, it'll look like I've been bored to tears. Oh, we might go more of a vampire path, though. Vegan vampire was kind of weird. Yeah, it was kind of like, I feel like if we... I just... I thought we were going to get rewarded for not eating people. But we didn't. Just ready to come back. <laughs> right, let me see whether I can find the mashed potato song. Um, and then we will... Uh, then we will get on with Nancy Drew. Um... Want the Borger and Badger mash potato song. Is it? 
Christ. If I hear my fucking mashy mates one more time. They got five seasons of this. They got five seasons of Bodger and Badger. God, I, I do remember this looking better. How many episodes? I think maybe 12 episodes in each season. That's quite a lot. Oh, where did I go? <laughs> <laughs> shall, I just, shall I just put Frass on screen? Because this is... <laughs> I'll put Frass on screen. And you <laughs> Do you think it's I got DMCA'd by fucking Bodger and Badger? They were like, cut the, cut it, cut the tape. Hang on. I'll fix this. Please get it. <laughs> oh my god, Bodger's in the room! I'm being attacked! <laughs> the puppet's getting me! Ah! Yeah, the mash potato. My mashy mates, Fred. My mashy mates. Wait, hang on. Ugh. I have to get up. Don't worry. I can... <laughs> Turn it off and on again. See whether it breaks again. Now my blanket stuck under my wheels. Fine. Ugh. Right. <laughs> Are you guys ready for some Nancy Drew? Do you have legs? My legs don't work like they used to before. <laughs> right, lads. Who's ready for some Nancy Drew? <laughs> Fade out the music like a pro. What does LFG mean, Brett? Leg. Let, let, let's, let's, uh, let's fucking go. <laughs> legs? Does the L mean legs, Brett? <laughs> Don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? <laughs> He worries about me enough as it is. Thanks, and whatever boys. you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That'll loud. tell you all about the mystery I'm about to Sounds try to solve. Sounds if loud you think me. you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. I like that it sounds like Nancy. Oh, I think someone's mowing their lawn because it sounds like Nancy has like a fucking helicopter outside. Let's just turn her, let's turn her down, Nancy. Nancy, you're a bit loud. Just turn you down. Not that, not that you're not important. You're very important. Just, you know, I'm a bit more important. <laughs> right, let's AG read the Krollmeister case. Kromeister has hired me to investigate a series of equipment meltdowns that have been plaguing the prominent Oklahoma Storm Research team he sponsors. Since his team has been expected to win the $100 million Ooh. grant at stake Million in the upcoming dollars. Green Sky Storm competition, Krollmeister suspects that there is something far more sinister than simple equipment failure going on. I'll be joining the team undercover, replacing their previous intern, Pete, who oh, yeah. wound up with a broken leg. Now I want to know the difference between you and Pete, Nancy, don't worry. The path of a storm. They won't be able to tell a difference. Stepping You'll in at the most dangerous and chaotic period of the chase season, I'm going to have to keep my wits about me to stay on top of the sabotage and the storms. All right, now, arse, first arson, now sabotage, and impersonation of Pete. Okay, Nancy, this. Oh, nuts, okay. Oh, there we go. Well, and as usual. we see a typical badger surviving solely on a diet of mashed <laughs> vegetable <laughs> products. This nocturnal animal...
Maybe. David, use your words. Use your words, any of the words. You know, you know at least five of them. With the lawnmower in the background. This nocturnal animal has... Oh, hang on. I should turn off my camera so you can't see it's me. I mean, this is definitely David talking. This nocturnal animal had to resort to an unsex unsuccessful handyman business to support his starch habit. My mashy mates. Ah, oh, David, thank you very much for finishing off that message. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, dear. Uh, the stars are for, like, achievements that you get. So eating all the ice cream gave us an achievement, which meant that we got an extra star. Unsex for... So, is... I'm not even going to defend myself. Whoa, oh my gosh! Seventy six seven hundred and sixty three million four hundred and seventy five hundred thousand pounds. It's about enough to buy one packet of tomatoes in the UK. <laughs> Touch it. Oh, I like this really, like, tragic renaissance music that's going on. Well, they say, don't they, Brit, that if you're uh, faced with a tornado, you should drive into it, right? Drive into the, like, the eye of the storm. <laughs> oh. A little bit of a banjo. Oh, look, moles! No, gophers. Warning, unauthorized... Oh, no, authorized operators only. Okay. <laughs> just hurricanes. Just, just a couple of hurricanes. Did you hear about the tornado at the cheese factory? Debris was everywhere. <sighs> I bet their blood was curdling. That looks <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Get in a ditch. That's rude, Brett. I don't want to get in a ditch. <laughs> I thought the eye of the storm was the safest part, is it not? Oh. Oh, we're, at, we're, we're next to those old people. Hang on. Wait, no, different place. Not old people. Where are we? Where are we, lads? What's this? Is that a dollar tree? I can see that it's got a green sign on it. Fire truck as well. It kind of looks like um, the fire truck from Buffy Summers. Uh, like I, I've seen them in. Uh, oh God, what is it called? Um, I don't remember. It's gone. If there's a Starbucks that narrows it down. It could be. <laughs> At least it's not a Costa, eh? Have we started the game? No, this is just a... <laughs> this is just a live stream of my window. Oh, I can get into my car. I can just get on my car and fuck off. That's fun. Oh, wow, look, I can, like, cause crashes. Oh, fun. Oh, my car's got a health bar. What happens if I get... Has there been a pile-up? There's been a pile-up! Nancy only just got her license. <laughs> the good news, your car will eventually be found. The bad news, if that's the good news, then pretty much everything else is going to be bad news. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad's rich, it's alright. Okay, you made a fatal error. Nancy died in a car crash. Fantastic. Yeah, I think we'll try again. 
Um, we'll just, you know, we'll just go back in. <laughs> oh, I clicked out. <laughs> hey, don't worry, Ned sold me my insurance. It's fine, guys. They call me the speed demon. Oh, I got another car I can ruin. I mean, uh, take out and carefully drive. That, that car looks like it's got gun bullet marks in it, doesn't it? Oh. Modern day land rush. Last year, three men sneaked into Can Canute's main campus under the cover of darkness and slipped a tow rope around Harrison J. Bison, Canute's beloved mascot. Seconds later, the hundred year old statue was torn from its foundation. The next morning, students and staff alike were surprised to see Canute Cummins standing strangely empty. It wasn't the work of vandals, as many first suspect, but instead the result of another problem all too common on college campuses today. Drugs. No. Rising real estate prices and flagging endowments. The fuck is an endowment? I thought that's what, like, when you say that someone's well endowed, that means they've got a... No longer the proud guardian of Central Campus, Harrison J. Bison now stands at the corner of 8th Street and Mason, just across from the Student Union. They put him in front of the bike rack, which makes zero sense, said sophomore Kyle Stapling. Stapling? Stapling. I... <laughs> when will we get the Nancy Drew crossovers the fans really want? Oh, Nancy Drew and the giant radioactive lizard. Nancy Drew and the mystery of Crab Crystal Lake. I want Nancy Drew and the kingdom of the Crystal Skull, please. Good morning, Fog. Always. Always. <laughs> yeah, she's got it. She's pooped. She's pooped. Don't worry. She's not clogged. I can't put my bike there anymore because there's a giant metal bison in the way. Stapling is not the only one annoyed by the move. They took down our cherished mascot, paved the commons, and replaced it with a strip mall. Is that like loads of strip bars in like a mall, I guess? I I guess you like like lots of choice. Said Junior Martin Applewright. I mean that says something about the school's priorities right there. I'm guess <laughs> I'm guessing when I finally get my diploma it'll have ten percent off coupon for steak billies printed on the back. Steak billies? Oh, I've got a hoodie. Thank you very much. Oh! Thank you very much for the giveaway. Thank you very much, Anonymous. So much for giving away a hoodie, lads. Exclamation mark. Enter in chat. To win yourself a Captain Badgertail hoodie. Exclamation mark. Enter. It's already pinned. I pinned it. Lovely jubbly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Anonymous. Thank you. Don't forget exclamation mark enter. Enter the hoodie giveaway. So you can match me yesterday. I'm not wearing it today, but... I was yesterday. <laughs> Kyle Stapler and his best friend Bobby Hope. <laughs> You got a, <laughs> you got a whole bobby will punch it. Ooh -hoo. The notes I have. Oh, I'm glad, Galax. I'm glad you like them. I'm glad. Thank you. I'm glad. I I write them myself. I just <laughs> because I know Greg does so much. So I always feel like I've got to be like I write these ones myself. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Have we are we up to date on them now? We got the uh, the new ones all up. You see my scathing review of Jedi Survivor. Oh, a strip mall is a parking lot with a row of shops lined up, not like a just a a mall. That this is my America flannel. I thought Canadians were more flannel. Oh, we're only up to Space Quest Two, so I've written um I've written them all the way up to Jedi Survivor. I expect we just need to update the uh, update the website to say it. <laughs> 
Blade Runner rug. Oh yeah, there we go. We have made it up to Elder Scrolls Todd. How hard? Yes, that hard. How hard? He says yes. Can I ask for Jedi Survivor spoilers? Are you not going to play it yourself? How far would you like spoiled for you? I like the Space Quest sports. I miss the Space Quest games. I want to go back. Uh, Does Darth Vader turn up? I think Darth Vader turns up because they've got to they've got to put Darth Vader in to sell more Darth Vader merch. I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah. They they gotta they got they got, I think he turns up. I'm pretty sure we see him. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he did. Because they gotta keep having him so that they can sell more Darth Vader merch, right? <laughs> He's still in contract. Mm. Oh, Paul! Paul! Paul, you're a winner. You're a winner, Paul. You're a winner. Paul, big congrats. Congratulations, Paul. Thank you very, very much, Anonymous. Thank you. And Paul, I hope you enjoy. Yeah, they made too many Darth Vader figures and now they're choking the warehouse space. People should just uh, give them as presents. I'm sure I could set, I could have set that up better, but the thought behind it was there. Yeah, um, I think Darth Vader turns up. Um, I think there's some AT-ATs, ATSTs, um, which obviously aren't original characters, but you know. Um, I don't think anyone else, I don't think anyone else cool turns up. Yeah. <laughs> if you X Mage Mark merch, you'll, um, you'll get it there, cab room. It'll take you to the, take you to the, the shop. The shoppy. Ye old shoppy. I got there. Thank you very, very much, Anonymous. Thank you. That's super kind of you. And Paul, I hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much, some guy. Thank you. I peep. Pee pee. We got the peepers out. No thrills, no spills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a. Can I? No, I can't guarantee. All spills are, um. Is that a legal contract? I think in the description you'll find that. There. Oh, Paul! Paul, thank you for redeeming. Yeah, there, there is a disclaimer that it will not prevent any spills, and I would recommend you keep your coffee away from your keyboard. Thank you very much, Paul, for redeeming your hoodie. I hope you like it. Right, where were we? I posted a pic in the Discord. Oh. Oh, I'm glad you like the alert as well. We have um, we have a few of those green screen ones that we haven't used. Oh, did you hear that? Like very strange. Oh no, it's just like weird American noises. Um, <laughs> I am, I am. I think I spilled coffee on my keyboard again recently. Like I really feel like I'm running a uh, running a tightrope on this keyboard because I can't buy it. Like so they've stopped producing them. And I really like the keyboard. I'm quite attached. <laughs> With American noises. <laughs> Just full of strange noises. <laughs> Yay, how? Uh, where were we? Um, we mm, there's Martha and Apple, right? Oh, yes, yeah, Steak Billies. The sad reality is, said Dr. Marianne Hotel Madrazo. Operator, what do you want? Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. Dymo plant, thank you so much. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Dean of Economics and Chair. Ooh. Don't know where the accent went. And Chair of the Committee for Sustainable Growth. As enrollment levels off and the day to day cost of running the college rises, something's got to give. Our decision to bring businesses onto main campus was not popular, but it was financially necessary. 
While the leasing of the university property has helped push the budget towards the black, Canute still has quite a few cuts ahead. The key word here is land. In the past, we were able to finance off-campus properties for research, continued Dr. Madrazo. But those days are coming to an end. We are looking to restructure how programs like Meteorology Field Research Team or Agricultural Innovation Team utilize off-site resources. If we are able to find corporate sponsors to help subsidize the costs of maintaining the real estate, we will have no choice but to sell the properties. When asked, the, re uh, the relocation of Harris and J. Bison was indicative of a general shift towards profit. Over educational opportunities, Dr. Madrazo was adamant. No, no, and no. It is just the opposite. This may come as a shock, but Harrison J. Bison's move was never meant to imply that students are being relegated to the sideline in favor of business. Despite her positive forecast for Canute College, Dr. Madrazo is willing to admit one regret. To be perfectly honest, though, it just really wasn't the smartest idea to put Harry in front of the bike rack. That's where the bike goes. Lovely. I wonder if a waterproof mechanical keyboard would be possible. <gasps> like a, so I've seen how mechanical keyboards are made. They like, they have like a sheet in between, right? I wonder if you could bake that. Oh, licky loo. Oh my God, what the fuck is that? I don't want to know. I, you know, if you lick your loo, it's none of my, none of my business. Christ. I'm sure. That's going to be really important that we've just read that. Where is everyone? I don't know, Brit. You know, what comes out of your body can could, should be able to go back in, right? Right? Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, no, not over there. Oh, can I call someone? <gasps> oh, nice. We can take photos, view photos. No photos, right? Menu. Yeah. I like the blue. The blue looks nice. Oh my god, it's the cheeseburger man! Oh, get out. It's the cheeseburger. <laughs> From Looky Lou. <laughs> Maybe in a previous life, I did lick one too many Lou's, you know? Yeah, well, you know, they say kids these days don't get exposure to enough like dirt and stuff right oh lord oh god oh gosh you hit me oh my gosh that's that i'm gonna call ned i could claim that on insurance can i just go through the dirt no howdy come on over here and be friendly that's more like it welcome to mom pa's oh god this is too American for me, lads. This is too American. They're too friendly. <laughs> I take it your pa? Call them. Call my dad. That's sue me. them. That's what everybody in a hundred miles knows me as. Pa. But I'll tell you something most of them don't know. That it's size not of your my real penis. Name? Oh. Why well, you, Miss Smarty Boots? <laughs> Little Miss Gal from up north who's Just helping assumed. out tornado chases from the Canute. How'd you know that? <laughs> How bad for an old codger, huh? Well, I know all sorts I, of stuff. I didn't say you. anything, Rimmon. I don't know your cell phone number, Miss Nancy Drew. Let's see, it's 523-555-4399. How do you like them apples? Someone on the Canute team told you I was coming, didn't they? Yeah, that they did. Debbie, she told me to keep an eye out for you and gave me your number. Fucking Debbie. See, if something bad happens while you're all out there chasing twisters, it's important to have a way to get help. Deborah. Staying connected in an emergency is just about the best way to stay safe. I'm kind of your emergency action central. Keep your numbers right here by the phone. Debbie, fill you in the way things work around here yet? I said, where the fuck is Debbie? Actually, I haven't really met her yet. 
You canoe folk got a lot of credit here, so instead of paying cash for food and equipment and such, you can charge it. You oh. want to buy something that's not on Debbie's list, like something from the snack section, you got to pay for it using pa pennies. Using what? Pa pennies. Like this here. A little something I invented to make coming in here a little more interesting for tourists. How about Back, go money? Ahead and take it. You can use it or keep it as a souvenir. Why, hey, great. Thanks. Money. How about I give you George Washington pennies? Just a mom pa in pa we nice trust. to meet you. Well, it was nice meeting you. I was just going to say the same the thing. Fool's gold. Y'all take care now. I like the um, little cow as well. Can I have a look? In pa we trust. That's a little bit culty. Just, you know, just putting that out there. Alright, what we got? Jackabowl. Glowing. Licky Lou. Take his picture. Oh god. What? Lads, what a cud smackers. What are, what are they? It sounds really fucking rude. That sounds like something I'd call someone to be really rude to them. I wish I was chewing cud smackers. Chocolate nougat treats. Oh! This is new. Is this new? Where are we, lads? Looks like a national park, eh? <laughs> Smack it right in the cud. <laughs> oh, is that something cows eat? They eat cud? I've never That's had too a, much money. I've never had a cow eat my cook. <laughs> I can't even get it out. Cowamel, creamy caramel, and rich milk chocolate together at last. Four or chewy discs per box. Hey, CD, good morning. Good morning, CD. Would you like some cud smackers? Moon chunk, out of this world cheesy snack. One disc per box. Raging Inferno's fiery cinnamon balls. I'm sure uh, we've all had a <laughs> weave. I, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... I'm not going to carry on with whatever I was going to go with that sentence. Uh, coward bubble. Bodacious berry bubble gum. Auntie's acorns. Cut is a portion of food that returns from a ruminant's stomach to the mouth to be chewed for the second time. Oh, is that like when I throw up on my mouth and I get like an extra bit of dinner? <laughs> More precisely, it is the bolus of semi-degraded food reg regurgitated from the rectocoli rum of a ruminant cut is produced during the physical digestive process of rumination. It's a little bonus snack. Oh, wow. Second helping. Udder pops. Get a suck on some fucking udders. A ten assorted lollipops per box. And coffee candy. Sophisticated coffee treats. That's out of my price range. Do I, how much we can buy? That's out of my price range. We have no money. We have, we have zero monies. Should we buy a flashlight? Buy one green tag item, get a different green tag item of equal or lesser value. Half off. Are you whining? What are you whining for? Hmm? Just around whining. Whip my cream! Mince my milk! OJ. Oh, butter. Oh, can opener. Two my different... favorite part of the day is when I get Bubble to smack root. my cud. You've been smacking my cud since the 1970s. And yes, Pixels just wanted me to say cud smackers. <laughs> Pixels, thank you so much. Thank you. It's beautiful. Bleachy clean, which is what my... <laughs> 
my ears need after hearing that. Um, Kurt's Bleach. Oh, one dollar off marked price. Nice. That's some cheap bleach. Water. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything here that we need. Oh, there we go. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> if a tornado was rolling down on you, common sense would say to run to safety. But that's not the case with Canute College College's leading meteorologist, Professor Scott Varnell. When a tornado is forming, Varnell puts himself and his team directly into the storm's deadly path in the name of science. I've been fascinated with tornadoes ever since one destroyed my home when I was young. Varnell explained about his storm chasing. The sheer power and destructive force of severe weather is matched by a beauty that's difficult to describe to the uninitiated. Head of the meteorology department, Varnell spends every chase season out in the field with a hand-picked team conducting research trials. Recent meteorology PhD graduate, Debbie, fucking Debbie. She's got fucking come in her name as well. Debbie Kirkham. Bet she likes cud smackers as well. It's spending her fourth consecutive season in the field as Varnell's team manager. Scott's knowledge of storms is unparalleled. His ability to accurately predict where a tornado will form is simply uncanny. Most of us are lucky to be right half the time. For Scott, it's nearly 100%. That's a bit sussy, isn't it? Said Kirkham. He puts us where we need to be, when we need to be there. I can't imagine working for anyone else. His passion for storm tracing is matched by a thirst for knowledge. For the past 15 years, Vernal's focus has been on tornado genesis. The process by which tornadoes form. Tornado gen dog genesis is <laughs> one of the least understood aspects of tornadoes, Varnell said. If I can discover its cause, we would be able to increase warning times and more accurately pinpoint formations. Varnell's current groundbreaking theories and research have placed his team as one of the favoured winners of the Green Skies grant competition to be decided this fall. All his team needs to do is obtain the data that will prove his theory is viable. With only weeks left in the season, the pressure is on. Oh, Christ. <laughs> That's a lot. All right, this might actually be the last one. All right. Groundbreaking research for $100 million prize by Turner Loose. <laughs> Turner Loose. The meteorological community was stunned last fall when Green Skies Corporation, a leading weather safety developer, announced a completion, pro uh, a competition promising a hundred million dollar grant to the storm team, whose research and theories offer the most promise for their discovering the secret of tornado. Tor I really didn't think I was going to have to be saying this so much. Tornado genesis. Tornado genesis. The process by which tornado tornadoes form is largely a mystery to science. Though Doppler radar and other technological advances have greatly improved the tornado forecasting, little is known about actual causes that trigger a tornado. In two storms with the nearly ident uh, with nearly identical conditions, one may produce a tornado while the other may not. As one of the largest weather safety developers in and insurers, fucking Ned, Green Skies is looking for the answer. The contents is open to any meteorological team from any institution. Contest rules are simple. Present your team's theories, research, and findings at the conference this fall. The winter, uh, the winner <laughs> chosen by a panel of experts will be the, uh, the team whose presentation offers the most promising possibilities for further study. The grant will then be awarded to fund that team's research. Since the contest's announcement last fall, two teams have emerged as clear-cut leaders. New York's Kingston University, led by Brooke Taverner, and our own local Canute College, led by Scott Varnell. The two front-runners are busy spending the remainder of the chase season tracking the best severe storms, gathering as much data possible, and testing out their theories in the field. 
with a rare front system rolling in that promises an atypical large outburst of tornadoes. The research gathered over the next week could provide the deciding factor for the winning team. Who will it be? Kingston University or Canoe College? You'll have to wait until fall to find out. Local girl named Student of the Year. Few people have saved a cow from a fire. Less eight. But that's just what one plucky resident found herself. When we don't get to read the rest. I want to know how this woman saved eight cows from a fire. I need to know. Lifted them. Oh. Whatever that is, I can't afford it right now. $99 and my main problem is that I can't afford that. Right. What can I do for you, little lady? Have a good day. Y'all hurry back. Can I go up to him? Something else I can do you for? I'll let you get back to work. Stop by anytime. Perfect shot. Oh, I want it. I want him blowing it. That's what I want. Oh, shit. Missed. It's not quite what I wanted, but. Oh, I need him with his mouth open. And blow it. Do it for Nancy. Come on. Give Nancy a blow. Nice. Nice, thank you. Lovely jubbly. Oh, off we go. My job here is done. Which side of the road does America drive on? Like tractor tippings, like cars. Oh, Lord. My car, um, my car revitalizes damage. Oh lord, there's a pile. But you just did an that's an illegal U-turn, sir. Right side. Don't you mean the wrong side? <laughs> oh my god. Good morning, Herbal. Good morning. Oh, there's a house over there. Oh no. I like the music. To be fair, I had right of way there. Yeah, the mouse con mouse control isn't. Oof, this isn't the easiest. There we go. I just got a cud snack of my coffee. That was nice. That sounded like that would have hurt. That sounded like expensive medical bills to me. Petri, I can see why though. I can see why. Will she enjoy the original GTA? I think I would. Maybe. 
Not enough cut, though. Is this supposed to be silent, or did I break it? Not sure. No, we're fine. Off we go. It would be nice if there was a map. Oh, maybe there is. No. What's this? Ah. I don't know where I am. Christ. You hit me. You hit me. Right, if we could just get back to Mar and Paz, we'd be good. Why is there a driving thing? <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's for realism. This is a... Uh... <laughs> Don't worry, our dad's rich and our boyfriend's an insurance salesman, so we're all right. Lollip, how are you doing today? Okay, we're at Marlar and Paws. Fantastic. Uh, I need to go... God, I wish we had a Tesla. Just drive itself. Um... To come out. All right, I'm sure I can remember that. I got an old man to blow on me earlier. I'll show you the picture. I'm driving though. I can't get my phone out. You hit me, sir. That's fucking rude. I don't. I don't understand how that was me. Yeah, could we get, lo uh, do you guys get localized versions of games where the roads are switched? I wish. No, I think, um, I think we have to just grin and bear driving on the wrong side of the road, you know? Oh, is this? Just because I'm on the wrong side of the road doesn't mean that they should have hit me. Technically, if they could have avoided the accident, they should have. Show you, like, look at that. Look at that old man blow. Look at him go. It kind of looks like he's got a turd in his hand, doesn't it? We've all been there. The games still make us drive on the right hand side. The cry and shame, really. Uh, where do we want to go? New route. Location. Oh, I, you know what? I have not been to the min... The, 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 the min... The min... The middle. Never mind. You know the word I was... Yeah, that's the one. That's the one, Harmer. No. Lovely. What a... <laughs> Very glad I stopped here. Hey, McFluffy. Good morning. Good morning. Right, we're at Windmill. And we want to go to the farm. Is this what I... Uh... Get out my way. Is this what Google Maps used to look like? Oh, no. Well, America likes their burgers, so you're gonna make big cows. Big cows to make lots of burgers with. 163 countries and territories have the right-hand drive while vehicles use the left-hand side in 76 countries. Wow, I can't believe 163 countries are wrong. Whoa. I can't believe it. This is what driving used to look like. You <laughs> to drive top down. <laughs> I just think 
when you know when I become world leader, I'm gonna make make it so everybody drives on the same side of the road, and that's on the correct side, which is the left. Oh, you know, I saw an interesting interesting thing about America online. I heard that you have one town in America that has banned all cars aside from ambulances and fire engines and possibly the police. Um, and you, they just use horse and carts. Badger World Conquest. Everyone will sing the mashed potato song to me. That will be my national anthem. <laughs> and I'll call everyone my mashy minion. Amish people do that anyway, but it's a specific town that only lets you ride a horse and cart. They've got a real, <laughs> real shit problem. There's more licky lose. Don't know where. I don't quite know where they want me to go. No one's been here to meet me. Can I call someone? Phone. Uh. I don't have any contacts. There we go. Spuds. Hmm, I'll have to try them back in just a little bit. The Crowmeister. Focus here. Oh, just a moment. This is why we can't have nice things in the workshop. All right, go ahead, caller. Hi, it's Nancy. Do I know Nancy? Uh, don't plug that into there. It's Nancy Drew. It sounds like you're a little busy. Is this a good time? Nope. Well, it was nice talking to you. Goodbye. I I'm going to start saying that. I'm going to start saying that. Like when, um, I don't know, my granddad likes to call me at like 7 a.m. Because he's probably up at 5. I'm <laughs> and he goes, oh, is this a good time? And like, you know, I'm not gonna go, oh no, granddad, go away. But, you know, I might start. <laughs> Wait, hang on. We need to talk. Just teasing you, Indy. Mind if I call you Indy? <laughs> Indy, I've been waiting for your call. If you mix those two beakers, I'm gonna have to switch insurance companies again. <sighs> I trust you've been kicking up dust and giving those jokers some serious what for out there in Twister Country. I'm a front anyone. Not exactly sure yet. I was hoping you could give me a little more information. Shoot. Do you think it's possible that your machines are just breaking on their own? My machines breaking? That's eight kinds of preposterous and <laughs> two kinds of unbelievable and another kind of. Yeah, Sorry, was that else. an Elon Musk clip? You ever hear the story about the fox <laughs> and the grapes, Andy? Sorry. No, but this really isn't the time. <laughs> it's always time for this story. Well, actually, it's, <laughs> it's a long story. And I forget the beginning. And most of the middle. But at the end, the My fox turns breaking. to the grapes and the says, fosters. Crowmeister products never break. That's... <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <laughs> hey, Venny. <sighs> I was being metaphorical, Andy. Foxes don't talk, and grapes aren't known to be great listeners. But the long and the short of it is, my products don't break. Are you enjoying it the must summer be holidays? Sabotage. But why would anyone want to do that? That's why I brought you on board, Andy. I need you to... Uh, Terrence, the arc welder is not a toy! I gotta run, Indy. You get in there and scare me up some clues. Call me back whenever you need, and if things are too hectic at the lab, I'll help you out as best I can. Hang on. I was Before wondering, <laughs> why are you so concerned about tornadoes? Something my granddad does. You must does have a lot throw. of other things to worry Try about. Try hang up the phone. I was just wondering. I never have been one to worry, but darned if these storms don't have my socks twisted in a bunch something serious. See, Andy, most things in the world can be tamed, or at least tricked into behaving the way you want. Not weather. Ever since a Once tornado I'm tore through my home, I've humans. been obsessed with figuring out that what makes, makes those twisters tick. I could, like, yeah. Pretty sure I built the machinery to do the job. That's like why I need you to make sure humans. nothing too funny is going on. Once I know I've made sure that no one else is ever caught off guard by a storm again, then I can move on to the next project. Until then, I just can't. I didn't know you got hit by a twister. Was everyone okay? Prudence Rutherford, she's the one who recommended I hire you, by the way, was over, and oh, I'm afraid she took a pretty hard knock to the head when the storm came through so suddenly. 
She was our friend in Venice. Remember, she uh, she was really fucking rude to us, and we hated her. But she's our best friend if she gives us more work. Prudence Rutherford, are you two? You know, nepotism friends? is great. <laughs> that is none of your business. Uh, oh, that. But if you really need to know, uh, can you keep it together for two seconds? Oh. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, none He's of your business. He's well endowed, if you know what I mean. Why are you so concerned about these machines? Now, there's no such thing as something that is just a machine. Every Krollmeister product is a work of art. Tell me about it. I couldn't agree more. You're not a yes man, are you, ND? Yes no. men are dangerous. They get you thinking you're the greatest thing on Earth, and the next thing you know, you're making the dumbest decisions that ever could be made. I'm not. I was being honest. All right, then. What did you think of the Chrome? Yeah, Meister look at his service cannon? in the middle of it nowhere. It was a little too powerful for the job. <laughs> well, shoot. Add diplomacy to your list of skills, ND. And what else can I do for you? Right. I've bye enjoyed bye. talking to you. I, I Get out there and see who's sabotaging my machines. Okay. Those are my two contacts. Fantastic. Um... This kind of, you know, I'm just going to put it out there that it's kind of fucking rude that no one has come to welcome me here. You know, I'm the Nancy Drew. I should, like, piss in their fuel tank or something. Oh, play board games. Oh, made a cake. What kind of cake, Bernie? Hiding in my room. <laughs> I should have... Is everybody off for, uh, off for the summer holidays now? Oh, there we go. Clean up their trash. That's a weird piece of debris. I mean, it's a wow. tin. <gasps> it's money. money. Once again, amazing job. Thanks, payment enclosed. Oh. I better take this and see who it belongs to. Yeah, sure. Let's take it and see who it belongs to, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, I think it belongs to us, actually. Hello, Nancy. Sorry we missed you. We're out chasing. The wind shear readings are strong enough that there may be a possible tornado forming up to the Noah. Until our return, I'd like you to familiarize yourself a bit with our operation. Please take the tornado quiz on the computer in the cellar. Don't worry, we don't care how you scope up. Also, there's a stack of papers in the dining room that needs to be filed away in the cabinet. You'll have to use my ordering system, but I've left notes for you on how it works. And then you'll want to dive down the street to Mar and Pa's General Store to meet Pa. There's a GPS in the car. You'll like him. He's quite a character. He'll give you a good old blow. Thanks for filling in. Last notice. I look forward to meet you in person, Debbie. I can hate Debbie. I don't. I don't know what we got against Debbie, but I got some. I got something against her. Hi, sweetheart. I see you. I see you. I don't have any snacks for you. I don't. I know I'm mean. Can't believe you've got no snacks for me. Nancy, please use my filing system. I've written the instructions on the right. Thanks, Debbie. Oh my god, Debbie. What is this? Animals are immediately next to budget. Grange Theatre is to the left of Degree. Canute is to the right of Findings. Okay. Oh, I should write. I don't think I've got a notebook, lads. <laughs> I might have to bring up a text document. It's a puzzle. What a bitch. I'm De Debbie's a fucking bitch. <laughs> so, uh, we know that the budget is... Okay. So, Grange Theatre is to the left of Degree. Uh, degree, and then budget, and then animal... 
Uh, it's to the left of animal. Findings is immediately next to Grange Theatre, so that's findings. Oh, I think I've done it. Goes findings, findings, Grange Theatre, degree, budget, animals, and where does Canute go? Canute is immediately next to Grange Theatre. Oh, fuck. Grange Theatre is to the right of... Is immediately next. Oh shit, I fucked it up. Oh, my chocolate and vanilla marble cake. Oh! <laughs> the last big Steam update. Oh, really, Foss? I have to look it up. It is on Steam. I have to look that up. No, we're not even trying to find anything out about the filing system. We're just supposed to. <laughs> Try to help her with her fucking filings. So we just need to find where Canute goes. Uh, that is immediately to the left of Degree. Range Theatre is immediately to the left of Degree. Findings is immediately next to Range Theatre. The left. Okay. I think it is. I think it goes findings, Grange Theatre, Canute, Degree, Budget, Animal. Okay. So what do you, oh, I see, I see, I see. Let's go findings. Boop. Grange Theatre. Boop. Canute. Oh, kaboop. Degree. Budget. All oh, right. Got Why it. wouldn't they just put it in? Like it literally goes A B C D G F. Like why wouldn't they just put it in? None of my business. None of my business. None of my business. <laughs> yeah, I know we're missing an E, but that's all right, right? That's the song. Hmm, looks like garbage. Don't need this. <gasps> they spent seven dollars on corn bag. That doesn't make sense. Oh, it does make sense. Oh, yeah, sales is added afterwards. Okay. Seven dollars, though. That's quite a lot for corn. Not my monkey, not my circus. Oh, and there's some corn on the floor. That's a bit suspicious, isn't it? D does not become before C. I mean... Oh! <gasps> mice. I agreed to tornadoes, but I did not sign up for mice. Not in my alphabet. A, B, D, C, F, L, G, H, M, T, P, W, and U. Now I know my ABCs. Won't you come and play with me? That's really creepy. I always hated the ending of that song. Always kind of gave me, come play with us. Oops. Previously on Are You a Detective? Andrew Morris, you are not a detective. With the Milan premiere only weeks away, we'll travel to Paris. Did you see France. Waverly? Watch Waverly. With the Milan premiere only weeks away, we'll travel to Paris, France. Next time, won't you sing with me? Evening wear sensations. Then we'll hop Next time, come and play London with me. Lady That's what I thought it was. Seasonal forecast. Plus, she'll give us her personal tips for looking extra chic during Extra party. chic. And join mm. us on the runway. Previously on Attorney General. I never asked to be a Won't you sergeant. sing along with me? 
See, that's so much less creepy. Why did I learn the creepy version? Come play with me. <laughs> I've heard a lot of uh, a lot of parents say that they never quite get used to their kids like having nightmares and coming in in the middle of the night and hearing like daddy. I don't know how why, how people don't get absolutely terrified. Oh, basement. Do we work? Let's go upstairs first. Let's take a nose around some people's drawers. Let's go sniff for some underwear. I have played Phantom of Venice. It's really good. I can't it's go to really bed good. yet. I hope people are trying to encourage you to play some Nancy Drew Lollop. And I do it. Do it. Phantom of Venice is very funny as well. So it's got some funny moments in it. Really good. Cheese chocolate way too noisily. It does in every game as well. <laughs> have you gotten um the have you uh, it talks nonsense in the shower. Have you gotten to the dance scenes? Have you seen any of the dancing? <laughs> I think that's what put it up an age rating. Oh, where are we? The White House. Oh my god, are we actually outside the White House? It's the White House. The White House baths? Is this where the president takes a bath? Punchy LaRue. How did you feel about the sausages as well, Molop? Where am I? So many white houses in the US. <laughs> Gotta ban them from their white pain. <laughs> what is it then? Where am I? You can't laugh at me if I'm saying the White House and not tell me where I am. Sassy detective. Latest issue now. Nearly brand new. 2008. Peregrine mileage 1398. That's pretty good. Fully loaded. Woo! And 0 to 60 in mere seconds. Only 43, oh, 43,000 dollars. Drives like a dream, if only. It's quite a lot of money. If I hydrated all today, I have. I have actually. Have Again. All right, Mouse. This I've been really good. This house isn't big enough for the both of us. I nearly fell asleep streaming to it. Nancy didn't keep you awake with her witty remarks and her sexy dancing. Thank you. Well, that's, that's nice. Hi. Who do we want the picture of? I gotta pick one of them. <laughs> the photos are so creepy. <laughs> oh my god. I want it to say thank you. Let's uh, let's see if we can. All I see is team. <laughs> now it looks like it's like Nancy's family, right? It might might and like this is a bit of a mystery. Does it say spank you? Does it say thank you? My daughter wakes me up with nightmares, but it's not creepy. Usually when I wake up, my first thought is normally, where is the baby? Is she asleep or awake? That's sweet, Simon. That's sweet. Oh, no. No, I'm going to have to get rid of it now, Bread. I can't have I can't have a nice, wholesome family photo. Maybe say wank you, can I? Goodness sake. <laughs> I think... BDSM style <laughs> suit with it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I've always imagined going to Italy. I thought everyone won national dress. The year 2021. <laughs> I was just about to, oh, oh my dear. Oh, thank you very much. Right. <laughs> Uh, 
guess it's just this guy then. I liked her hip dance moves as well. Beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> no, it's his dad. It's Ned's dad. Ned's dad is hot. Why was that even there? Why was that there? No, but you've got to. You've got to. You've got to. Fin um, are you going to finish that? Uh, Merchant of Venice. You get bloody English literature plays. Um. Phantom of Venice, because I want you to get. It's like I want you to get to the sausage bit. <laughs> I want you to get to the sausage bit. Creepiest thing I could possibly say. I want to see you. I want to see you with the sausages. Who wants to see a picture of my dad? <laughs> Have you got a picture of him bred after the liquor store? down here oh <laughs> oh uh, this is co oh okay this is like probably a cheat sheet that maybe it would be nice if I took a picture of liquor what um uh cr c cud fourth why What's <laughs> oh you know what I can do actually no not this what am I doing camera I can just cheat. There's a literally a camera in game. Cud. Oh, it's our word of the day. Cud. Twister trivia. Oh, look. There we go. This is nice. What nice pictures. I need to connect my phone first. Oh. 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 Boop a dab All right, someone's going to find that now. No, 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 no. Is there any way to, like... I was hoping maybe I could set it as a uh, as the wallpaper of... No, I can't. All right, start quiz. The weather service will issue what type of alert when a tornado has been spotted? B. Oh no! I don't know, we don't get tornadoes in the UK! It's not going to be called a tornado arrival, is it? A tornado warning means a tornado has been confirmed on the ground! How many tornadoes are recorded on average each year in the United States? Well, your mum probably farts like a thousand times a year, right? <laughs> oh, uh, tornadoes are measured. <laughs> uh, the Buford scale, that sounds American. That's not American. Category. Category 5 tornado. That's incorrect. The E scale. They're uh, the F scale. Because it's down there for farts, right? Uh, the least safe place to seek shelter in a public place, such as... Oh, uh, you should go in the middle of the tornado. I learned that one. It's probably a bathroom, let's be honest. Nope. Uh... Cordial? It's a large room. It's a large room. 
Uh, in preparation for an emergency, every family should have a tornado in plan in place and this item. A cleaning kit. A party kit. Disaster kit. Definitely. Which of the following is not indicative of a possible tornado? Greenish looking sky. This one. Okay, a hook. A hook echo. Yeah, uh, I, it's got to be the downburst. Yeah. Yeah, downburst. On average, what percentage of tornadoes each year rank as either an EF4 wind speed, uh, wind speed gusts? Oh my goodness. 10%. 20%. 5%. God, this is like fucking GCSEs all over again. 1%. Wow, good. First time. What well, causes the most injuries during a tornado? Flying debris. Yeah, I knew that one. You answered 3 out of 8 correctly. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Hotel operator, what do you want? Cheeseburger. Hunter, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Right, we're gonna get eight out of eight. One thousand. Next question. Uh, F scale for farts. I remember that. Large room. Next question. Disaster kit. Look at me. Um, I don't remember what it was. Was it downburst? Yep. And it's one percent. Yep. Flying debris. A family placard, Doritos, and something to watch Captain Badgertail's VODs on. You got the entertainment. You got the snacks. What else could you need? To download a photo, attach camera, access the gallery, then open your camera and choose the images you wish to download. <gasps> Someone's here. Nancy, is that you? Ugh, yes, that's Debbie. me. Scott wants to meet you. Be right there. Oh, Nancy I'm Drew, Debbie. you made it. I'm Scott Varnell, the person in charge of this meteorological Do you think he dyes his hair? Welcome aboard. You guys think he dyes his hair? Are you the person I'll be reporting to? You'll be reporting to Debbie. But make no mistake, I call the shots around here. Ever seen a real tornado, Nancy? Well, yeah. As I was driving up to the farmhouse, it wasn't that big, but it sure threw a lot of debris around. <laughs> well, isn't that just peachy? We spend hours racing all over the countryside, and where's all the action? Right in our own backyard. We're never gonna win this thing. The school's gonna pull the plug on us, sell the farm, and that's gonna bunch be all she wrote. Sugar in his and beard. it's all Krollmeister's fault for saddling us with a bunch of bush league junk. But now that you're here, maybe our luck will change. He's Two been things you need to do the right off the bat. Source. I gotta give a workshop on tornado <laughs> preparedness at the junior high school next week, so put a sample disaster kit together for me. If anything's missing, go up the road to Mon Paws and get it there. Oh. You want me to make you a disaster kit? Oh, I could do that. <laughs> Ned's been at the crud. Or what goes cub. into a disaster kit? Look, you're here because that rich uncle of yours said you could do the job, so be a little resourceful and just do it, okay? How many fucking if rich you need a nanny, have your uncle menaced. send one. We don't have the budget. Second thing you need to do is redesign the warning siren God, layout Nancy for the local really community. is a member of the board. We just got a set of new sirens, and their range is different, so the town asked me, and now I'm telling you to figure out where to place them, so if there is a tornado, oh, yeah, everyone will be within earshot of a siren. AWC All the information you need is on the chart in the other room. You have questions about anything, bug Debbie, not me. Nice meeting you. I see. I see. Oh my god. A lot of crap around. Gone with the wind, a town says goodbye to Ma. Oh no, we're gonna find out how Ma fucking died. I just thought she wasn't at work that day. Oh my god. The storm, like so many storms in this part of the country, came on quickly. 
The skies seemed to grow darker and the more menacing by the second. Lightning cracked in the trees and the storm gusts ripped. Decorations from storefront windows downtown. Before the sirens even sounded, the first twister touched down. An hour later, as the first beams of sunshine broke through the dissipating cows, clouds. <laughs> dissipating cows. A familiar, cheery red pickup lay over, turned in the Cooper's South Corn Field. Two days later, it would be discovered. Most of the people round here simply knew her as Ma. For more than three decades, Betsy Ox held her post behind the counter of Ma and Pa's store, always ready to welcome the day with a fresh pot of coffee and the latest gossip. Yesterday, for the first time in 30 years, the shutters outside Ma and Pa's stayed closed. As des devastated, town began to realise the scope of its loss. Shape was the glue that held this town together, said Rose Atwater, friend and loyal Ma and Pa's customer. Wasn't a thing about this town she didn't know better than anyone else. And then she wasn't shy about telling you that either. Customers and friends alike remember Betsy as if she were a member of the family. She sat me down the day I moved into town and asked me a million questions, said Denise Miller. What were my hobbies? Where I was from? A real fun degree. The next day, my inbox was flooded with invitations from all over the county. She never admitted it, but I'm sure it was her doing. Such stories are common. Betsy's reputation as a good neighbor and tireless organizer was known through the state. There are no fewer than 24 clubs that you can trace back to her at some point, said late Deanna Lohman, president of the Tulisa or T Tulsa. <laughs> organization of community centers you name it she put that together she had this way with people that was just beyond special a large memorial has appeared outside ma and pa's store in addition to heartfelt farewells to ma its message is simple hurry back pa we miss you under the sign hundreds of handwritten notes of encouragement have been posted by the store's patrons I know what it's like in his position, said customer Andy Jan Jan Janaway. It doesn't do you much good to stay cooped up at home all day. We just want him to know that we'll miss him. This is actually kind of sad. Like, <laughs> I'm putting it on, but it's kind of sad. Oh, it is kind of a bit sad. Oh, my goodness. I think... <laughs> I'm actually going to end up making myself cry if I'm not careful. Right, um... <laughs> well, that's that. I'm actually feeling Mars loss. Got a first aid kit. Oh. Some corn. Looks like somebody's been feeding the rats. Wait. Oh. Ambitious special today. Free pie and coffee to the first 20 people in the door. And sandwich specials that you will have to see with your own eyes to appreciate. The Funnel oh. Cloud Cafe. Wow. I was planning on gouging out someone else's eyes and seeing with them, but... The new Buster Infinity. Oh, Made Buster Infinity. Age, nanotubes, the Luckbuster Infinity. <laughs> door. Luckbuster Infinity, a subsidiary of Crow Meister Industries. What's up, Mashy? <laughs> was it Mashy Mates? Music's quite jolly now. That tornado you just saw. Oh, what do you think? I was just. What do you mean? Trying to leave. Actually. Were you excited? Terrified? Did it make you want to go home? What? Actually, that tornado is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life, and I can't wait to see another one. Now that's what I like to see. Wish I could get that sort just of Just saying, this is a little bit insensitive after just reading about between you and me. Betsy the last dying. few years, I've gotten stuck with the worst students. I could be telling them about the most exciting storms on record, and all I get back is a sea of bored faces. I was going to say, I bet he Before sees one of my department, I shows how well endowed he is. Students who really cared, like Debbie, but those days are over. That must really be disappointing. What are you, like 18? 
Do me a favor, kid. Don't talk to me about disappointment till you've lived long enough to experience it firsthand. Don't worry. My family's really rich. I'll never be disappointed. I'm sorry, Nancy. That was... <laughs> I know you meant well. Anyway, good okay. news is it looks like weather conditions for the next two weeks are going to be ideal for tornado genesis. Which means we could be in for a record-breaking string of tornadoes. I really don't like You may like be putting him. that enthusiasm to good use. I sure hope so. All right, if you ask me, what we need is an entirely new... Oh my god, it's dead. Cheer 100 and now we sing the traditional American funeral dirge for Ma. I'm too hot. Hot damn call the police and the firemen. I'm too hot. Hot damn make a dragon wanna retire. Man, I'm too hot. Hot damn say my name. You know who I am, I'm too hot. Hot, hot damn, damn in my band about that money. Break it down. It's what she would have wanted, Galax is what she would have wanted. Thank you. Thank you, Golux. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Nancy, hi! You've met Scott, the project leader. I'm Debbie, the project manager. Hi, Debbie, the project manager! Do you know why Scott is in such a bad mood? <laughs> I've worked with him for the past five years, and believe it or not, that's I'm trying not to make a cremation joke, what, just by the way. Mood? Yikes. <laughs> Ryan. Sounds like you've been having a lot of equipment problems. Let's just say that Scott is extremely good at misdirecting blame. You think the problems are really Scott's fault? But hey, I could be wrong. Which, by the way, is something you'll never hear him say. Anyway, first thing every morning, I'll brief you on what has to be done that day. As for the rest of today, those two jobs Scott gave you, get them done. I only Pretty remember much one job though. Everything he says in there, I can hear out here. He's not exactly a low talker. The chart with all the siren stuff is in the living room, and that computer quiz you took will tell you what needs to go into the kit. If any items are missing, you can go to Ma and Pa's general store up the road and buy them. Just purchase wisely. Our budget is very limited. And if you haven't introduced yourself I've to Ma or finished the filing, so please do so. And so once you're done card. with all that, you can head out to the cornfield and fix the sprinkler system. <laughs> fix the Great. Sprinkler system? See, this farmhouse and the acreage it sits on were donated to Canute as a research facility. The chase team gets it during tornado season. The agricultural team's here the rest of the year, so we've agreed to maintain whatever projects they've got going in their absence. Right now, they're in the middle of collaborating on something with this big mucky muck research center in Hawaii. Which is just another way of saying, fix those sprinklers ASAP. Okay. I found this box out front when I arrived. Thought maybe I better turn it in. Wow. There must be a couple hundred dollars in here. Job. Thanks. Payment enclosed. You don't know whose it is? No idea. I heard you tell Scott about seeing that tornado, so my guess is the twister carried it in from somewhere else. Maybe even somewhere miles from here. I'd feel better if you kept it. Sure. Oh, when Nancy. I, chance, I guess Nancy's rich. It doesn't matter. I, oh, when I get a chance. What goes in the disaster kit again? You don't remember? No, sorry. To tell you the truth, I have to look up a lot of things myself some days. Check the computer. That should help you out. This is so weird. Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn in the wastebasket? Nancy, why were you going through the wastebasket? Why does it matter who threw out the receipt for dried corn? Like, this seems really important. This seems like it's a se of sentimental value to someone. They're going to really miss this receipt for dried corn. Could we please return it to their owner? Like, Would you happen to know who threw out the sales receipt for dried corn that's in Nancy, the wastebasket over on. there? Dried corn? Why would anyone around here buy dried corn? To make the little piles of dried corn I keep finding around here. They look a lot more man-made than mouse-made. Are you suggesting someone has been deliberately feeding the mice? Uh, I didn't make that suggestion. But, I mean, how you say it? The heartland of America corn is all important. I think someone's been trying <laughs> to lure them inside. Everyone on this team has his quirks, so that is for sure. But deliberately causing a mouse infestation? <laughs> Nobody's that mental. I mean, okay. Why is there a file in the cabinet labeled Grange Theater? 
theater's kind of a passion with me. So when I got here at the beginning of tornado season, I found out the Grange needed a stage manager for the play it's putting on and volunteered for the job and soon became the sound and lighting director as well, which means when I'm not here or out in the field, I'm there. Okay. It sounds like you keep pretty oh, busy. Oh, do you think she'll put on the You don't even know she'll the put on the suit, We're the approaching suit. final dress for the Grange's big play Punchy of the LaRue year. Comes Everyone back. from around here shows up. You should ask Pa about it. He's got much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. I mean, I don't know what you're trying to say there. Much more of a passion for the stage than you'd expect from a man in overalls. I'll check back with you in a bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, and thanks for driving that car up here for us. That was a big help. See ya. Right. Hey, Pa! Hey, cozy good afternoon. Good I'm looking forward to the twist when Nancy gets swept up in a tornado and finds herself a new and curious <laughs> land, solving the shocking murder of the Wicked Witch of the East. I, I just, I hope that, oh god, what's his name? Give me a moment, give me a moment, it'll come to me. He's the really sexy British man, who's old. What's his name? Really sexy old British man, lads. Come on. Pa. He's not British! Rowan Atkinson. Henry the Eighth. <laughs> He's not dead. He's alive. Michael Caine. That's a good call, actually. Michael Caine's pretty hot. Kiss the knocking charms. <laughs> sexy. Hugh Laurie? No. Um. His name might be Hugh, though. Sean Connery. Isn't Sean Connery... Is he British? He might not. Yeah, no, maybe you're right. Hugh Grant! Hugh Grant! Boss, you got it in one. You got it in one. I was going to say, I hope that Hugh Grant there is, is there in his, uh, his Oompa Loompa costume. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Pixels. Thank you. Is Sean Connery... Is he British? He is British. I thought he was, uh, yeah, I thought he was Scottish. But I guess, yeah, 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 I thought he was Scottish. But is Scottish technically British? Does British include Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland? I do like his singing voice. Sean Connery has a... The way he speaks. Technically, all Scottish are also British. Okay. I'll let you off this time. Hugh Grant is 62. Well, a spring chicken. Here, oh, we're about uh, to make a new friend. Sure. Are you sure it is me? <coughs> also in Badger and Chat. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you very much. You're right. Save me a lot of time if you can. I mean, you LED can't say sexy like British person and Dave, not have David Attenborough in the same sentence. I've never fixed an LED display before. Just get inside and I'll tell you what's what. Okay. Oh. All right. Get inside and he'll tell me what's what. What you're all looking at is the fuse oh board my for God. the screen. Fuse are all there and they're all good, but the display won't work till you rearrange them. See how they number from one to eight? Yeah. Yeah. What you got to do is rearrange them so no consecutively numbered fuses are touching in any direction. Uh -huh. Including diagonals? Yep. Oh, fuse number like one Sudoku. can't be touching fuse number two, which can't okay. be touching three, which can't be touching four, and so on. Okay. Got that? I got it. I think so. Good. Fix your own car. Screen dip shut. <laughs> Any luck, I'll be done out here by the same it's time. It's called a dipstick, Ford. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ford. <laughs> Poor Chase. Poor Chase. Oh, a very American story. The one Fourth of July, my brother went to grab an old firework tube from under the bed in the cabin because that's that's a good place to keep your fireworks right under the bed, right? Picked it up. Oh no, a mouse! My brother took the tube, the end of the dock, swung it. Eight, six to eight months. Thank God he didn't just set it off. I thought you were gonna say he took it to the end of the dock and just set it off. <laughs> Killed all the mice. Uh, oh, no, no.
That probably that's probably a better way to do it than why I'm doing it right now, but this is how I feel like doing it. Oh, oh, it was already used. Oh. <laughs> just, I just assumed like it was old fireworks that you'd kept. My dog just farted in my office once. <laughs> Get out! Get out! Get out of there while you still can, Foss. Oh god, when Sue's farts, the whole world cries. I quite like this, it's very satisfying ASMR. What's the stitch with Nancy? So we're undercover. Someone is sabotaging the tornado competition. And we're here to find out who it is. There's a competition to uh, kind of present your findings, new findings about tornadoes. And we've got a, we've got to find out what the four one one is. Like this, like this. Yeah, so we've gone from arson to sabotage. Hey, Lee Snello, how are you doing today, Haley? Oh shit, we're back at the White House. We're back at the White House, guys. This looks like LA, doesn't it? <laughs> it's a, uh, it's Bucky and Palace. <laughs> oh dear. Um. I've got an idea. Four, six, no, three. Three and then five. So they're not touching. <laughs> President Badger. I'll make you all change the side of the road you're driving on. So watch out voting for me. No longer will you drive on the wrong side of the road. This is a real tricky puzzle. <laughs> I'm having a big, tr big trouble with it. If I got a uh, citizenship, could I bread? So you've got to, essentially it's like Sudoku, they just can't be touching a number that is a J, well, I guess that's not like Sudoku, but it's similar to Sudoku. Um, so one can't be touching two or three. It can't be touching it in diagonally either. Hate it when puzzles are tricky. Like, why they gotta be so puzzling, right? Yeah, I thought one and eight in the middle. I'm entering my mind palace, I think I understand. Is that not right? What's touching? That seems right. No? Four, five, and six. Four and five. Oh my god, four, yeah, I see, I see. Now six and seven are touching. Nice! I did it! The screen says it's initializing. 
And I'm done out here. How's that for timing? You're Nancy, the new gopher, ain't you? Well, I'm Chase. Oh, I ain't gonna shake your hand because my hand's kind of a mess. Then I chase. I the help. Hi. Hi, Chase. What do you do on the team? What do you do on the team? Right now, I'm fixing the car the fella you were placing was driving when he busted his leg. It's pretty much my job. His leg? Stuff. Why has he got gunshots all over his car? That okay with you? Yep. I like fixing no, stuff. No, no, no. He's like a golfer because so Nancy really loves golf. Job for me. Plus, I'm learning a whole lot about twisters. You live in these parts, the more you know about them, the better. Is that why they call you Chase? Whoa, because you chase tornadoes? That's interesting. But Do they I call sure you Nancy care. because you Nancy too many questions? <laughs> Sorry, that was supposed to be funny. Call exactly. Call that's pretty that, good. The truth is, it's like, my name. Thank you. <laughs> Has been since before the day I was born. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That was pretty good, though, wasn't it? You're Nancy and too many, uh, too many questions. Why do you think so much equipment has been malfunctioning lately? Stuff breaks. If your luck's bad, it breaks a lot. Being such a negative person and all, Scott's like a bad luck magnet. With him in charge, I'd be more surprised if stuff wouldn't break him down all the time. Do you know a way I could earn some paw pennies? Tell you what. Over there on my workbench is a bunch of circuit boards for the weather balloons where I was putting up. Now, since I can't put the board to use till it's been wired up just right, how about for every board you wire up right, I pay you something in pop pennies? Of course, this feels since like wiring them wrong I'm being cheated. makes more work for me, you make too many mistakes and I only pay you some of what you earned up till then. Oh my god. Depending on how All you right. do. What do you say? Couldn't you just give me the paw pennies? Like my dad always said, the best things in life are the things you earn. Anytime my dad's you want, rich. Just go on over there and start wiring up boards. <laughs> There's some instructions over there that'll help get you going. Anything okay. else on your mind? How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never-ridden bull in a buck and shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together, I like him fine. Got this sixth sense when it comes to twisters. Never seen nothing like it. Kind of spooky sometimes. I think he's causing think them. Think he'll win the Green Skies competition? He must be causing them. Not a chance. He's got this real negative way about him. Nothing good's ever going to come his <laughs> way. Sad, like dancing at Pa's Dance Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now she, uh, she'll earn Pa one dollar notes if she does that. Will it bother you if his team doesn't win? Heck yeah. I'd Heck like yeah, yeah. What do you mean, Grizzly? He sounds very uh, authentic. But as long as you got Scott for a leader, ain't no way. Are you sure you're not Alaskan, Fred? The guy I'm replacing. faking it all this time. What was the matter with his car? A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was because his car had run out of antifreeze. Should I say coolant? And that's because mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Oh my god. Oh my god. The mice? Oh my. Oh lord. That was a murder attempt. That was an attempted murder. The mice ate through that there was an attempt on his life. The mice ate through someone was trying to kill him to sabotage the team. And that might have been what killed Betsy as well. You remember Betsy died in a car accident too. You know, rest in peace. Betsy, may she be forever held in the arms of Sonic. AJ hey, Sid, good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Uh huh. Yeah. Have mice done anything like that before? Well, I don't know about here, but I saw a mouse chew clean through a two by four in less than an hour once. <laughs> of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. But I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went to town. The core. Over there on the work. Someone's. Bench. Take a gander at it if you want. I've bugged you long I enough. I will take a game you know, at it then. Just Thank do you. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine. I'm going to put Scott in jail. Right, that certainly looks like a hose to me. I mean, do I sniff it? Or like, what am I doing with this hose? There's some antifreeze, that's nice. I mean... It was the rats. Oh, it's just, just the rats. Are we sniffing hose? This place could really use a cat. To wire weather balloon boards, each fan is labeled the number of wires that need to be attached to deliver the right amount of electricity. Right. 
If not enough power gets delivered to the fan, you'll damage the board too much and you'll damage the fan. So make sure that you give the you got that number right before you power up. All of the fans start spinning when you push the power on button. You've wired the board up correctly. The circuit boards are very prone to overheating, so you can't allow any wires to overlap. You have to connect the fans quickly or the components will begin to fail. I'll start you off with the easy boards. After completing your board, you can either finish and collect your pennies or start a new one. If you make a mistake, the board will overload and you'll have to try again. Keep an eye on the overload meter. If it hits red, that means the board is too damaged to use. I'll pay you in full price for boards that you wire up perfectly. And for each light that's on the overload panel, you finish, Whoa, take back a that's quarter of what you I, I sure don't, don't care. care. Gullux, thank you. This is going to earn us money, Gullux. We need this. I don't... This is like some kind of bomb defusal. Oh, I understand. Do I understand, though? I don't think I understand. Maybe I do. Is this? Is this? Ah! Cool. Nice. It's like building a computer. Sure, I'm with this. Ah, uh, that in there. In there. Like that. Like that. Stack them pennies. <sighs> oh. It's just a bunch of fans. <laughs> I thought that's all you needed was just loads of fans and then you're good. Okay. Oh Christ. Oh no, it's fine. We're all right. Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry! Oh no! All right. Oh, we've only got 13 seconds left. Ah, ah, ah. That's got to be correct. Um, Like this, like that. That has to be correct. I'm panicking, lads. I'm panicking. Oh, God. They give me more time. Good, fantastic. Right, one, two, three. So that's got to be right. And this has to be right as well. Um, so this needs to collect to four. That. One, two, three, four. Oh no, okay, so they can't cross. Par pennies. 20, look at that, 20 pennies earned. Woo wee. Par's gonna be calling me Ma soon. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Next board. It's kind of a bit like Minesweeper. Yeah, it is, isn't it? One, two, three. Not like that. That's one, two, three, four. That. One, two. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know how many pennies I want, by the way. I'm not sure. I'm, I haven't decided. Uh... We like that. Like that. Need five. So one, two, three, four, five. That has to go up there. That's five. That's two. That's four. 
Okay. I think I'll make I'll make a hundred pennies and then we'll go. Um. Oh, zero. Oh no. Oh no. But the rat, the noises of the rats, kind of a bit distracting. Oh, look at this. It has to do that. And this has to go like that to make three. Three. Like that? Nice! I like the five ones. There really. Okay, so one, two, three. It would go like that and then like that. That would make four. This fifth one would have to go like that and then that. And then like that. Oh no, okay, not like that. Like this, that's three. And like that. One, two, three. All done. Oh no! Uh oh, more work for me means less money for you. How much did I earn? Oh, pennies. I think he took some of my money, lads. Lads, I think he took. I think he took a lot of my money. I think. I don't know. No, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. I think we we good. We're good. Right. Let's go. Oh, look. Oh, I can straight up just. Oh hell yeah. No one expects to be rear-ended by a uh, meteorological ban. Okay, um, let's go and do the... <laughs> it was me all along. Let's uh, fill up the disaster kit. Oh! Hi, I'm Frosty. As you can probably tell from all this equipment, I'm the media guy. Still pictures, audio, video, digital, analog. I do it hey, all. Hey, Kyle. Do it pretty darn well, 20th too. 20th anniversary. Kyle, what kind of cake are you having today? Happy birthday. Is there a story behind the name Frosty? Sure is. A couple of years ago, before really I like Scott Wendy's. or any other tornado chasers for that matter, I was out taking pictures of this ginormous thunderstorm that was brewing outside Norman. I'd drive for a while, God, jump out, Norman. snap some pictures, you know roll like. some video, jump back in, drive some more. Just oh, wedding anniversary! Pictures, you know? oh, I wasn't I'll... really paying attention to what the storm was Happy doing. Happy anniversary! You were well, right, Gullux. Really, really I thought bad. anniversary of your and birth. Then it just started pouring. You know, you might be married really And I mean, really rain young. was coming down like my car like stopped under Niagara Falls. And the wind was blowing oh, and the he's car in Detroit. was swaying. And then it started to hail. First just dime-sized stuff, then quarter-sized, then golf ball-sized, then that all penny, of a sudden, paw pennies. the windshield shatters, and a hailstone the size of a fist lands in my lap, then another, then another. <laughs> Turns out, I'd punched the core of an incredibly powerful HP supercell. You Even the Niagara, the though, Gullix. What of the who? <laughs> HP means high precipitation, lots of rain, and a supercell is a cloud <laughs> formation capable of producing severe thunderstorms. The core is the worst part of a supercell, where violent updrafts can produce huge hailstones, to say nothing of tornadoes. Did you see one? That time? No. But I did roll down my window and start shooting, and I came away with photos and footage of hail what that no one's Americans been able to top yet. with shooting tornadoes? Overnight, like... I went from being Tobias Harlow, run-of-the-mill photographer, oh, he meant to shooting Frosty like pictures. Harlow, fearless documenter oh. of extreme weather Sorry. phenomena. <laughs> I he was shooting pictures. He wasn't just he didn't roll down the window and start shooting his gun at this tornado. No, no, no. More like click click, no pew pew. Um <laughs> I've heard that so you know some people do shoot tornadoes in the hope to kill them, I presume. 
What are you going to be doing for your wedding anniversary, Hyle? Have you got anything planned? Have you got any cake planned? Die, Tornado, die! I guess it could be like Sharknado. You're hoping to kill the sharks inside. Take back, Tornado, I'm armed. <laughs> what happened to your arm? What? These scratches? Oh my god. Just a few minor <laughs> wounds. See, I was climbing the fence Cheer next to the old Fraser Creek pew, pew, windmill so I could get tornado. a clear shot of some amatus <laughs> clouds. And what happened? I take that, you dang right tornado! Brambles. Thorns just about took my arm off Thank when I went you. to grab it. Uh, I don't trust him. I'm so sussy now. How long have you worked for Scott? I joined the team last year after their photographer quit halfway through. This is my first full season. I'm the best thing that's ever happened to this team, I might add. I'm good. Oh. Do you know what goes in a disaster kit? If I were putting together a disaster kit, it would include a map, some flashlights maybe, and Lori Gerard and a sweet cherry red convertible. But that's me. The type of kit Scott probably wants probably has, yeah, no clue. Batteries and maybe Debbie knows. I'll catch you later. Thank Pop you. Pop in any time. No worries. I was just checking he didn't have anything in his pockets. Who is this thank you? Who Whose is this thank you note? Make that your phone background. Do you not like what I've got already, Frog? It's a picture of my dad. <laughs> Twist or trivia. Uh, emergency planning. Disaster kit. A disaster kit contains essential supplies in the case emergencies for every member of your family, including pets, items for basic staples. Oh, okay, right. Get some staples. Household tools. First aid kit kits should be included. Items such as water, sugar, salt, granola bars, batteries, flashlight, can open, toothpaste, duct tape, and bleach. Full recommended list can be obtained at local emergency management offices. Okay, let's make sure that we got some bleach. No, 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 the person that got uh, broke their leg left, I think. They went, um, went home home. What's up? Oh, I'll nothing. check back with you in a bit. Have fun. She said that with the most stony look on her face. Have fun. We have a look over here. Oh, what we got? Oh, fucking robbing them. In case of power surge. System will shut down manually. Open six valves to show the blue active status. Open valves cannot be in the same row, column, or diagonal line system. Okay, right, I see. I understand. Uh, do I understand? I think I understand. I think I am putting, picking up what they are putting down. Um, some might say. Putting down what they are picking up. Right? No? Okay. Not in a diagonal line. Different. Different. It's gonna be up here somewhere. That is the same as that. I think these are right. Uh, 
So you got something in this line, something in this line. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is a really common puzzle, but it takes me a minute to get it. Because we've had this, we've had this before in a Nancy Drew game. Not that, you know, I'm complaining about Nancy copying Nancy, you know, but we have had it before. I'll get it. Not right? Feels like it's right. I know that. Do do do. Do blue blue blue. Do but ah blue blue dab. Yeah, that feels right. That feels, that that feels like it looks good. Yeah, it's always a knight's move, which is uh, start in the corner. I feel like you don't want to start in the corner, though. Am I wrong? Or am I right? I needed to switch row one or row three. Oh, uh, I was that close. Oh, Surge. Oh, MIT. MIT in 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 uh in California, right? No. Yeah, like you guys said MIT in California. What does the M and MIT stand for? Malifornia? Ma yeah, Malifornia. Yep. Malifornia. Got it. Massachusetts, Mississippi, Minnesota. All right, we fixed the pump. Lovely jubbly. We'll take a. We'll take. Take your spell. I think he did well enough for a clap. Oh god, I got hit. <laughs> Don't take my eyes off the road. Okay, thank you very much. Oh no. Oh my god. Christ. Hang on, I need the GPS on. We need to go mar and pause. Uh, I need to go down and then up. Oh gosh. Sorry everyone. Nancy will die if we, uh... Oh, 
Oh, thank you, kind sir. Thank you. Where are we? We need to keep going this way? <sighs> Pray Sonic, may he protect Nancy in this life and the next. Off we go. Uh, if we go straight up and then turn left, it'll be alright. Meow. Nee, 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 nee. Meow. <laughs> there, Goom! I am driving a pickup truck as well. There we go. What can I do for you, little lady? I was just wondering. Oh what no, is the we part of Mon Paws. No, Nancy. Ma? Oh, she's around. You, you know, running errands and such. She's dead. She'll be in later. What else you need? No, she's dead. She's dead. She's. De I read that. That kind of makes it worse. I feel even worse for asking. Yeah, she's just running errands, like getting Jesus a coffee and stuff. You know. Angel Gabriel. He wanted to. You know. He wanted a Starbucks. Yeah, exactly, Brett, exactly. Not running any errands for anyone other than Jesus. <laughs> Oof. Debbie tells me you're pretty involved in the local theater. Now that's a true fact if there ever was one. Nothing quite like being backstage when the lights go down. Come to think of it, it's just like that moment right before the storm hits. When the world goes dark and quiet. And all you can do is cross your fingers and hope for the best. So what's this play about? About this place, of course. From common wagon times up to today. All about the men and women that made this town what it is today. I'm playing Percy Rutherford Hardcastle, town chef and area's first librarian. Back in those days, it wasn't no small thing to return a book late. That sounds interesting. Gonna be. If you're not out chasing twisters open at night, you should come. We're pretty near sold out, but I'll try to save your ticket. Oh, so do you ever chase tornadoes? Silliest thing I have heard tell. Oh my god, that Randy, like look at silence. Don't come chasing after you. People who do that are just asking for it. So you've seen a tornado? Yeah, he's got some jackalopes behind him and some pyrite. Pretty much everybody I know has. Yeah, including your wife. You research types at all your meters and Sorry. senses and recorders and such. Chasing around out there thinking you're doing something all big and important. Know what the only real thing you can do when you see a tornado is, Miss Nancy Drew? Watch. You watch this dark, rampaging monster go tearing across the land, wrecking everything it touches, till all of a sudden, it ain't there no more. You can't go after it, you can't make it put everything back, you can't even get even with it, because it's just gone. Uh, some people try and shoot thing. tornadoes, that might help. Now that ain't fair. That just ain't fair. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience. That I am. That I am. What else you need? I've enjoyed talking to you. See Have you please. soon. Have I? That's too expensive. Maybe when we've got more paw pennies. Right, we need some bleach. No, <laughs> completely unrelated to the conversation we've just heard. We need some bleach. Uh, so we can buy one green tag item. Um, do I need a, like a... No? So your wife died, what's that all about? <laughs> well, if it ain't my favorite customer. I'll let that, you get back to work. Uh, sound Don't a bit let less them sarcastic. canoes work you too hard. All right, um, I do want to buy some Licky Loos though. And I also want to buy some cud smackers. That's out of my price range. That the cud smackers too are too much, too much money. This. Remaining budget thirty dollars. Oh dear. Okay. We'll come back for the cud a bit later. Uh, let's get the buy one green tag item. Get a different green tag item. 
thirty percent off marked price. Oh, this is this is making me do maths versus two dollars off marked price. Uh, thirty percent of six is uh, two dollars is better. Just isn't it? Yeah, twenty cent better. Sixty percent off any purchase. Buy two different blue tag items. Do we need tape? That's two. We need one more blue tag item then. So bleach. I have enough of those already. One will be enough. What else do I need? Can I put stuff down? Right. Return this item. I have enough of those already. Oh, I've already got one. Don't I don't need down. to have two. No, of we those. don't need them. We don't need them, Lance. Okay, so we've got our bleach, our tape, our toothpaste, some water, and I suppose, like, with, with some tacks, it would be more, right? We got that. Oh, no, put that down. <laughs> Ned really likes the can opener. Okay, right. Sea salt. Buy one green tag item, get a different green tag item. So if I bought this, sugar. The gourmet soul. Oh no, we've run out of budge, lads. We've run out of budge. Hey, Wesley. Wesley, we're having a budget. It's like real fucking life. Oh, not this. Put that item back. Put. We want the blue. Uh, uh. Can I just put it all back? Right, I'm gonna put it all back. Let's start again. Put it all back. I need to restart again. Right, I want to do the most efficient blue I blue. Okay. Buy two different blue tag items, get a different blue tag item of equal or lesser value for free. So you want to start off with one expensive item, don't you? And this one. And then you want to get the third, ex third blue item should be expensive. So we want... Granola bars. Oh no, that's shoplifting, Nancy. None of these are blue. These, however, blue. We get these free. That's great. So we fulfilled a blue right. equal or lesser value. Oh no! Look, there we go, there we go. Actually, return this item. We want this one then. Why did it take money away? Oh, I see, see. So we're getting the duct tape free. Um, two pounds, two dollars off, we'll take those. We want the, this bleach.
Is there anything more expensive than that water? <laughs> this is a, yeah, you know what? This is kind of fun mini game. Oh, I kind of don't get a choice. We have to buy this. There's no cheap toothpaste. You can't cheap out on dental health, lads. Okay, lovely. I don't think I've got anything to buy that's a yellow tag. Right, so we've got the bleach. We just need the granola bars now. And we've got just enough! Just enough. Yeah! Okay! Look at that! It's uh, in case you're involved in a tornado. Looks like I've got everything I need. Oh, I'm not I laughing. think I've got everything I need. Can I pay for these supplies now? I suppose so. I mean, why'd you, why would you Thanks. suppose not? Sure thing. Okay. Yeah, we don't have anything to open with a can opener. Maybe we got some beans in the back. It looks oh. like it won't accept paw pennies. The divining rod that's supposed uh. to be here seems to be missing. Steal. Steal the Paul Penny. Whoa! Ned is my divining rod. Dust bowl. Oh. And this is how Ma died. No. <laughs> important things to know to keep you safe during a tornado. This is probably quite good and educational, isn't it? The Trail of Tears. Start by claiming any color lot along the border to expand. Select an adjoining color to claim all the squares. Oh, I see. I understand this. It... I know that I've played this game before. All right, one. What, what am I? Who am I? Pink or blue or... I started off incorrectly. I fucked up. Yeah. Oofers. Oh, cool! If I'm losing, I can just quit. Loss, I'll see you later. You have a good luck. Okay. I think going second is an advantage. Maybe I win? I don't think Pi I is out here telling everyone that the tornado took Ma when really he killed her and put her in the can stew. That's what we need the can open up for. <laughs> Thank you, Pixels. <laughs> Somehow I've made more money. I don't know how I made more money, but I'm okay with it. I 
win! I win! I win! Bring on the fucking pennies. Wow, look at that. We made more pennies doing this than uh, we did fixing those bloody boards. <laughs> Gambling! Oh, a Nelly! Alrighty then. Um... Only lets me start at the edge. Okay. He's gonna regret starting there. I think I've won that. We've got him cornered. Very nice. Oh, we can start over there? I feel like that's cheating. And that's how the West was won. <laughs> I'm sure that was how the West was won. So I've got 139 par pennies. I literally have to get 9,000 par pennies to be able to buy the loot box. Are you guys interested in getting the loot box? I'm kind of interested in getting more loot box, I'll be honest. You know how I feel about loot boxes. I love them. <laughs> Oh, didn't go how I quite I thought. I win. Bring on the pennies. We are. How much are we making each time? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Let me see how much we're making. We might be making quite a bit. Fun little game that massages my brain. Uh... Oh. Yes, I win. How much did we win? Oh, we make like we make so much, so much money from that. We make so- I mean, we make like- we make like a dollar. Yeah. Just claim the yellow? Oh, I wish. Green. Gray. 
Oh, we aren't doing so well here. I think we've boxed ourselves in a tad. If we can get purple. <laughs> if we exit, we can just claim our money back. If we're losing, we might as well just leave, right? That's what they always tell, teach you at school, right? Never persevere for anything. If you're losing, just exit. Right, we got him. We got him. Look at that. Look at that. Purple, pink, maybe? Box them in. So they can still get out of the box, which is so, like, um, so they'll just start over here, like that. Oh, dear. They'll go green here, obviously. Yeah. I'm tired of this score. It's too day you fired! Ten months. Ten months oh, of feeling lonely as when bread chuck it in the soup. <laughs> chuck him in the soup. <laughs> What's this? It's some intermarriage in your family, Doomsday. Thank you so much for ten months. Thank you very, very much. How are you doing on this lovely Tuesday? All right, we'll go one more, and then we'll leave. We'll go, you know, we'll, we'll just come back and do it later. Uh, I think this is where we want to start. This feels right. Maybe. Oh, he's getting large, lads! Red. Purple. Red. Gray. Green. Oh. Pink. Oh, I think he, I think he's got it. So a paw penny is the weird cult, um, currency that par only accepts I'm sure it's a way to embezzle his cash we lost but we won something so all right It's too expensive. We need $99.90. What is, how many pennies is that? 990. No. 9,990. That's a lot of, that's, there, that's a lot of par coins I'm gonna have to. Hmm. Oh. But we can at least buy some cub smackers now, so. I wish I was chewing some cud smackers. Mm. I'm paying with individual pennies. Alright, we'll come back later, Pa, when I've got the when I've got the patience and the par coins. I'm gonna win Mars Ashes. I read that as mash like mashed potato bread, and I was like, oh yeah. I suppose you could have, you could mix some ashes up with mashed potato. Probably the more tolerable way to eat them. 
if you were go you know, if you were gonna eat. Is it illegal to eat ashes? Just asking for a friend. Oh. Overtake. Meow. When Pa goes to the gym, is he exercising his parkour? Thank you, Pixels. Thank you. Oh god, Pixels, I've got I've got myself into a bit of a, a pick Pixels, a bit of a pickle. Pixels, thank you. Yeah, it's just, you know, I'm can you eat ash like is there like this genuine late, Nancy, go to bed. Oh. In a minute. What are you, my mum? I just want to go down. Time to call it a day, Nancy. Hit the sack and I'll see you first thing in the morning. <laughs> Why is it so fucking spooky? Jeez. That ought to do it. I finished that disaster kit for Scott. Nice job. I'm supposed to remind you to check in with Debbie. She might need you to do something else. Will do. Well, it's it's kind of like Alaska. You know how Alaska um is light is is dark half the year. What's well, up? Texas is uh, That's it for now. Is light half the Have year? Have fun. Like the opposite problem. All right. I guess I'll go to bed. Time to call it a day, Nancy. Hit the sack and I'll see you first thing in the morning. Yes, yeah, also hot all year, except when they get those freak snowstorms, which we don't talk about. Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning. Nice. Got a few things for you today. That storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you put them back in line? After that, you should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. <laughs> Any chance to show off? I'll check then. back with you in a bit. Have fun. So I'm going out in the like, cornfield. Let me go. Hey, Jabba. Currently sitting in Sweden and waiting for the sun to never set. <laughs> when does it first come up in the year? Out of interest. I was watching. Um, I was watching some athletics that took place in Sweden. It looks like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor and the blue beam to the blue sensor. Okie pokey, I got you. I got you, Nance. Wow, this sounds like the music from um, Star Wars. The end with the Ewoks. 4 a.m. Oh! There we go. Cool. Yeah, when do you see the sun after winter? When does it come back? Like April? May? <laughs> Nancy works for the National Weather Service now. It's a bit of a pain. <laughs> Don't worry, my dad's paying me. Actually, I think it's my rich uncle this time that's paying me. Nancy would never accept work with a pay cut. That looks right. I am staying at Canute. As it is, he's <gasps> already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. No one is oh going to suspect a thing. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. This is not what I agreed to. I mean, when I said Conspiracy. I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Ah, so I needs get to it, because he's Frosty. Of. You know that, and I know that. Cold feet. Uh, you're right. But we can't... No, you're right. It's time to get rid of him. Murder him like you did Betsy, eh? Hello, PK. Now's not a very good time to talk. Not a good time? Hardly. Indy, one of my assistants just showed me footage taken by those storm chasers you're with, and they get way too close to the storm. You don't need to be getting that close to the storm. That's why I invented those machines. Okay, I'll be sure to keep my distance. Oh, good. 
not that I was worried that you would. <laughs> not that I was worried at all, actually. I'm, uh, I'm not the type to worry. Now, tell me what you you've dug up on the team me. so far. Tell me about this Scott character. <laughs> He's a little hard to read. There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. It might be because he well, wants it that like way, but too. there could be something else. It's almost like no one fully trusts him. Interesting. Hmm. You'll make sure to keep a close mm. eye on that one. Of course, but... But he's not your only suspect? No. Right. Everyone's well, very good. suspicious. Don't hold back. Tell me Does it everything you know. Uh, what's up with the shutter bug? Frosty, is it? That's why they need to put the flashlights in the, uh, in the emergency kit. <laughs> Do you see it as early as February, March, and then when does it go away again? Maybe November? That would be my guess. November, October. Frosty's frosty. Oh, yeah. He and Debbie are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Ooh. Plotting? How so? Well, I overheard them talking. They were talking about how someone, I assume Scott, was close to the edge, and they were going to do something about it. You stay close to the both of them. Report back to me when you're done. Oh, all right then. There's very good. Oh, money! Money! Pick up the money, Nancy. We can't pick up the money. I can see the money. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hello. Hey there. I'll let you go. See you around. See you around. Still clearly haven't found. Ah. No? Okay. There does look like there's some dust on the antifreeze as well. Oh, are they? I thought they were gunshot. <laughs> I thought they were bullet holes. I was just like, ah, it's just, you know, it's America. Don't forget to finish up yesterday's work as well. I'm That's it for now. Pretty sure Have I did fun. finish up yesterday's work. What did she need me to do yesterday? Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. So what's up? I need to get going. Take care. <laughs> Speed holds. Don't forget to finish up yesterday's work as well. I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun. Yes? What did you mean when you said before that the school would sell the farm if you lose? Just what I said. Right now, Canute College offsets the cost of maintaining this place with funds from private companies like the Healy Healy. But apparently that money's about to dry Healy, up, Healy. so if we don't win this competition, there goes the farm. <gasps> oh, oh. Do you remember that interview you gave after Ma died? Nope. An angel. Why do you ask? I read it, and it seems like well, a lot has changed for you over the last few years. What's that supposed to mean? You seemed more concerned about the people in the path of the storms. More concerned? Oh, it's one what of those exactly are you implying, cakes, Nancy? Fred. Everything you said in the article, it you seemed like you like genuinely cared about the safety of everyone in Tornado passion. Alley. You make TikToks. And you don't think I do now? I'm sorry I don't still wear my heart on my sleeve, but that's a very amateur thing for a scientist to do. All right. Do you feel guilty that you didn't put out the Drive alarm the knife in, the Nancy. storm that killed Ma? What kind of a question is that to ask? Yes, of course I am. You'd be too, but does that mean it's my fault? No, it doesn't. I hope they sell these Canute t-shirts. Guess I'll get going. Fine by me. Is it cum or is it cocaine in his bed? Who knows? <laughs> D 
Don't forget to finish up yesterday's work as well. Sure, I did That's yesterday's work. Have fun. I wanted you to do this. I did that. I've done that. I got a, a tick list? Ah, oh, there we go. That's done. Still have to do that. Select a vehicle. That's okay, done. fun to wonder. Still have to do that. Rearrange the warning sirens in the chart in the living room. That's done. Did that. See, this Did is that. why I like junior detective. Did that. Because you don't get Did this that. one in senior detective. You don't get like a task list. Really sounds like Star Wars music. Um, rearrange warning sirens on the chart in the living room. <laughs> God damn it, Nancy, go to bed. Don't forget to finish all the work you didn't do yesterday, you lazy bitch. Do they just want me to overlap? What are we doing here? Or is it just got to be everything's got to be covered, maybe? the rules you know what maybe there aren't any rules that's why Ma died Have I ever heard a tornado siren? Is it anything like an air raid siren? I heard one of those. <laughs> you know, I'm 76 after all. Of course I've heard one. <laughs> oh no. There we go. No, we don't have tornadoes in the UK. Close to an air raid siren designed to get your attention. It kind of goes... Wah! Right? <laughs> does, sound, does sound so low. <laughs> Yeah, you know what, with climate change, we might get the tree to tornadoes. <laughs> little, little tree, little tornado tree. Heard a manual siren that you can crack. I think they used to, didn't they? Uh, the wardens used to take those around, Greg. That looks like foot yeah. fully covered. Don't you guys think? No. I'd like to know how I was supposed to do this. Like, if if there's a... 
kind of method to the madness, or do I just... Bottom right pin is outside the lines a bit, but like this one. I don't know if I have to be inside the lines. I don't feel like I do. I think I've just got to be... I think I've got to cover as much as possible. Something like that. Something like that. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't that? Damn it. Maximize coverage inside the boundary. So you want as little slipping out as possible. Sorry for the... Like that. This looks... Yeah. UK gets 30 to 50 tornadoes a year, but they're small and there's a chance of one decent one every 17 years. Like how you say decent. <laughs> I dang, we haven't gotten a decent tornado in ages. <laughs> <laughs> Back in my day, tornadoes were decent. No, I, I don't know what you mean though. Where was our where was the last one? Are we do are we do one at all? Something like that? No, I don't think that's right. Yeah, <laughs> decent ones. I'd hate it. I guess it's, you know... Are houses kind of well prepared for them, or... Is it still a little bit of a... I suppose, how, how prepared can you be, right? Yeah, yeah. My dog just farted. Now it smells. Yeah? Don't Check forget out. to finish up yesterday's work as well. I better get to work. Have fun! <laughs> Drinking some sweet tea. I suppose, like, I, obviously they're not cool, but, like, you know, I suppose they pr probably are pretty cool to watch. Obviously, you know, not, but... Had a crawl space in the basement under the stairs where we would go during tornado warnings. Did you like to put anything down there, like a, like a, um, like a TV? Or I guess the TV would stop running, right? The randomness of tornadoes is what makes them so scary. I was thinking it must be like, you know how Japan has to uh, earthquake-proof their houses? Kind of a little bit like this. A little bit like that, right? Still have to do that. Still have to do that. Okay, so this is wrong. Oh no, I clicked out of the game and onto a walkthrough. <laughs> not, no, not cheating. Uh, what is this? Tornado? Tornado. Uh, 
yeah, siren shot. Oh, good distract. Oh, we're in a Hawaii. We're in Hawaii. Aloha. Happy Christmas. Aloha. Had a battery powered radio, flashlight, and some sleeping bags. Easier to prepare for, but way more destructive. Oh, Hurricane Katrina. That one was really bad. I suppose there's more warning of them, right? Oh, I see. We were nearly right, lads. All right, that's how it should look. I mean, I would argue that my one was also right. Did that. Did that. I, I would say that I also had good coverage. Right, what car do we want to take? I want to take the big one. I don't think this is the right one. Fine. This we'll isn't take... the right car. We'll take don't mine. It looks like a Prius, doesn't it? Americans love their Priuses. Okay, let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. All right. Left, down, and... Left again? Meow, Nancy coming through. I went the wrong way, possibly. No, I might be all right. I think I went the wrong way. Massively went the wrong way. It's fine. It's fine. With Nancy behind the wheel. No task is too small. No mountain is too high. Okay. Oh, he nearly hit me. Oh dear, we went the wrong way. Ooh -hoo -hoo! This is quite quite a thrilling car mini game. This will help you identify the shots you need Not to take. Not scoop, but when hurt. we get some good photos, we'll move on. All right, Mamatus, pouch like clouds. Okay, you want a, some a scud, a wall, a cumulus, a, a carrieris, and a shelf. That's the idea. Keep trying. I'll be sure to download the photos into the gallery when we get back to the farmhouse. Keep trying? What do you mean? I wasn't... Right, where should we go now? Next cloud. My like, good try, bucko. A nice cloud. That's the idea. Keep trying. <laughs> Looks like a scud. Um. Kind of reminds me a little bit of your truck as well. You know, I didn't always want to be a storm photographer. Oh no, oh, yeah? we're gonna have to listen yeah, about his life. To be a doctor. Oh yeah. You changed your mind. Studying. The pay? <laughs> it's oh, hard no. to stay focused okay. on some boring little book when there's so much going on outside. Fair enough. Life is a highway and I'm gonna ride it all night long. If you're going my way. This is probably a quite a one. nice little educational game as well. I know it's not, you know, it's a Nancy, I can, you know, Nancy Drew games are educational to a certain degree. But, you know, if you wanted to teach your, um, teach your kids about tornadoes, 
guess this is the way to do it. You know, hopefully they won't get traumatized by the, uh, the story of Ma. And you can also teach them how to drive as well, which is great. Dual purpose. Oh, I... It's all right, I've got good insurance. My boyfriend sells insurance, it's fine. Good so night, drunk. The chasing, bug. the chasing bug? Yeah, it's a bit like syphilis, isn't it? <laughs> the chasing bug. That's the idea. Hopefully they'll give me a cream for it, though. Drunk, have a wonderful sleep. Thank you for being here. Drunk, I hope you don't get the chasing bug. I'm getting some great shots here. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. I think they might go on the cover of Vogue. Check. I think our house is back down here. I think I would have passed my test first time had I had this game. In a minute! Download. Quite a good download speed. Look at this. The missus and her dad had a tornado pass by them while they were on the road. No way. Oh, wow. Them some good clouds we saw. <laughs> that lovely Jebly. Did that. Oh my god, please, Nancy, step away from the computer. Settle to Ned. <laughs> Thinking about this you, Ned. Is a broadcast of the Hello? emergency notification Someone system. Oh wow, how exciting! Of a tornado touchdown Ooh. In the area. All listeners are advised to seek shelter until further notice. I better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Oh, shoot, the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone oh god, is this is a little there, bit scary. Right? Hello? Who's Ooh. there? Hello? Oh no, I don't I'm like it! In the morning. Good morning. What did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty? Those two could sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Right, okay. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got noticed that the ag people are going to exterminate them. What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. You're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn. But you're going to have to move quickly. 
I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. But she's very pussy. I guess. I know it's not the most glamorous work, but you'll be a real hero to those little guys. I've always wanted to be a prairie dog hero. Always. Actually a dream of mine. <gasps> Deborah Kirkham. Dear Dr. Deborah Kirkham, it gives me great pleasure to offer you the position of assistant professor in our Department of Meteorology under the Department of Atmospheric Sciences. This four-year term position, effective beginning the next academic year with an annual starting salary of $70,000. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Jason, thank you so much. Thank you so much for thank you very much for subscribing. Welcome to the weenies. Welcome to the weenies. Now trapped here for a whole month. <laughs> Don't try and run away. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the weenies. Seventy thousand dollars. The appointment is tenure track position to be reviewed at the end of t the four year term. Oh wow, so that's twenty two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. As a faculty member of the Department of Atmospheric Scientists, you will be expected to conduct active research during the spring and summer storm season, both atmospheres, research and sphere weather lab. Uh, authorize your offer, you reimbursement for reasonable moving expenses. Do they do that in America? Jason, thank you so much. Thank you very much. They do that in America though? Do you get, do you get reimbursed? Move me over. <laughs> as well as a housing supplement to help you get settled in the Ithaca area. Oh my god, I'll accept that offer. <laughs> I can teach people about clouds. Sometimes they do, I did. Oh, do they make you pick uh, specifically their moving that, like moving people? Or do they let you pick whoever you want? What else we got? Is this, is this it? Right, Deborah, I actually got a question for you. What's up? What state do I want to move to? I think I want to move to... Uh... Quebec. I think I'd, I think I'd want to move to Quebec. Quebec. Where am I? Am I in Quebec? It's close enough, right? It's close enough. Yeah, bonjour. Je m'appelle Capitaine Vagitail. Je ne suis pas très fort en français. Désolé. That's too damn bad. Sup, creepy people, oh slash. Titi. Tutti, thank you so much for 90 months. Thank you very much, Tutti. How are you doing? I had the best shit yesterday. Best shit. <laughs> Immediately after stream, I needed a shit. <laughs> Great one. One company hired an agency to handle my move. Oh, not in that case. I didn't get to pick anything for my first three months of moving. Oh, company to my apartment. I guess that might be quite nice. This last time, they just reimbursed me with a check and gave it to her. Oh, that's kind of... I've I don't know whether I might like them to pick for me because, you know, it would take away. I'm now imagining my whole different life where I, my, I'm having a company move me across the country. Yeah, it might be quite like it might be quite nice not to have to choose, right? I can't be doing that well. <laughs> I can only apologize. Seventy thousand dollars is a starting uh, starting salary from just doing your degree. I think I'd move to Minnesota, maybe. They got they got the turkeys. What do you want to do now that you've finished your degree? Seems nice. Actually, Skokin I, seems like a nice place. I'm not sure yet. I, I'm still kind of weighing my options. Oh, are you? Are I'll you? check back with you in a bit. Have fun. All right. Minnesota has the snow. I quite like snow. I suppose maybe I wouldn't like it if we got it all the time, though. I Nancy, hi. Look, um, 
Debbie tells me it would be good for morale if I gave people around here a few attaboys every now and then. I, you don't so need to I just an wanted to say you right. did a pretty fair job driving during the chase yesterday. Thank you. Well, let's not get cocky. I mean, there's always room for improvement. For instance, when you're driving in a steady downpour, you should always... Ah! Did you see that? Did you see that? Those dagnabbit mice are everywhere, and <laughs> I'm sick it. of it. So if you were wondering what your next <laughs> job was going to be, now you know. Get rid of the mice in here. Just make sure you do it humanely, or Debbie will never let me hear the end of it. Maybe you can get one of those Piper guys, or better yet, some kind of catch-and-release trap at that Ma and Pa store. <gasps> oh, catch-and-release. Okay? We know how to do catch-and-release. That's what my sister told me to do if you don't want people to hear you poop. I never leave the house now, so it's not too bad. I just get to look at it. I suppose the heating bills must be absolutely horrific, though, right? Drive through beer barns? Oh, what, like you just... Like, like beer? Surely you're not, you're not supposed to drink and drive? Hey there. We've got a, we've got a prairie dog problem. I'm supposed to relocate those prairie dogs. How do I do that without hurting them? By using a handy dandy prairie dog vacuum I just invented, won't hurt one single hair on their fur little heads. At least it won't after I replaced this tube with a bigger one. How soon are you supposed to move them? By the end of the day. Well, then get yourself over to Mom Paul's and trade this tube in for one that's a bigger size. Okay. I'll set you up as soon as you get back. Great, thanks. Oh, you just buy it without leaving Anything your car? Else on your mind? Oh, I kind of like that. You don't have to talk to I'd anyone. I better get going. See you around. No, 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 no transporting any alcohol. You just buy the beer and take it home. What are your nearest park? Oh yeah, in America you're not allowed to drink alcohol at... Outside, are you? Um, farmhouse, windmill... I remember reading that a lot of Americans were surprised when bars and like pubs have outdoor seating, like just literally on the streets. I don't like, I feel like it's more sussy if you've got your alcohol in a bag. Like drinking out of a bag looks more sussy than just drinking out of a, like a beer can. What's going on there, Nancy? I need a bigger tube for a vacuum Chase is building for me. Can you help me out? Sure, as long as you do a little something for me. Oh What's that? I'm not that giving... Snack out. You can update the display I got set up okay. over there. Right, sure. sure. <laughs> that mouse trap you have in the museum, the one that lets people catch mice instead of kill them, do you think that maybe I could borrow that? Well, I think I could lend it to you, sure. As long as you do a little something for me first. <laughs> you bet. You can update the tornado display I got set up over Nothing. there. Nothing. <laughs> Just move the stuff on it around until it compares the old Vegeta way of saying how bad a twister is. You know, F1, F2, F3 and okay. such. Until it correctly compares that scale to the new one. You know, the enhanced Vegeta scale. EF1, EF2, and EF3. I'm surprised the they'd like. name the uh, they tornado to scale after back. fajitas. But, you might have you to know. do a little reading, but you can do that for me in return for the mousetrap, right? No problem. a girl. Done with that Vegeta scale display? To be honest, I haven't even started it. So what you need? Do I ask? Where's Ma? Still not here? I, she's dead, she, Nancy. Nope. She, um, she had to drive over to Chickasha. Sister's lumbago's acting up. I fuck a, every I game, somebody has lumbago. <laughs> Did you know the divining rod that's supposed to be on display in your museum is missing? Missing? Why, I had no idea. How do you like that? Somebody must have took it. <laughs> Why would somebody Just take it? Just keep asking him about Ma. Feel bad. Well, now that's a good question. All the thing it's good for is fine and all. That's pretty much just a superstition. <laughs> for Long most Bago folks, epidemic. that is. Some people around these parts still swear up and down divine and rods work. Well, guess I'm just going to have to whittle me up a fake one and stick it in the display. Just be our little secret, okay? Have a good day. Stop by anytime. All right. 
What did he want me to do? Some kind of tornado display fun, right. It looks like it won't accept paw pennies. Ah, it's this one. Nope. Oh, the Vegeta, the uh, the Vegeta scape. <laughs> Over nine thousand. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Red. <laughs> Right, what are we looking at? Damage indicator, okay, so it's gonna go from big to small, right? I'm gonna be judged if I look this up all night, but... <laughs> Judge away! <laughs> Judge away! I ain't reading about... <laughs> oh, I see! Look, okay. Like, it knocks over a tree. It knocks over a house. It knocks over your camper van. Knocks off your roof. Tears off the entirety of your house. And then kills grandma. Alright, I see. And then it probably goes from low to high. Like that. 79, maybe? In this one, it pulls all of the shingles off of Mars. Supposed to match these up so they're like kind of a bit close to one another. I might like, don't look at the walkthrough, but I can figure this out. I am a STEM minded individual who can figure out numbers. Who needs to pay for relocation when you could just have an EF4? You know, maybe a STEM-minded individual would use a walkthrough. It's like... It's like Bill Gates said. He would rather hire someone who plays WoW all the time than a, no <laughs> a normie. Because people who, you know, it's work smarter, not harder, right? <laughs> yeah, you want to hire the laziest programmer. Uh, uh, that there. <laughs> Dropped out of college to play WoW full time and it prepared me well for corporate America. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can put stuff on, you know, there's the auction house, right? The auction house. Unfortunately, killing, killing a big boss won't land you a brand new mount in real life. That'll just land you in jail. Those giant raids take some crazy organizing. Like, uh, too, so too social for me. I would do as much as I possibly could. Single player. I liked all of the old raids because you could go through just by yourself.
They can all. I always hated it when people would get Hi, mean bro. as well. Oh. Talking up again so soon. <gasps> back because you miss me. A little of A and a little of B. <gasps> Is he having well, sex with Brooke? Go ahead. What's the word out here this week? Don't keep me in suspense. It's uh, been uh, nothing special to report now, I guess. Nothing to report? Nothing at all? Are you feeling all right? Yeah, oh, sure. It's been a slow week, so. Not even any good gossip about Scott's team? Any new blunders I can take back to the guys? I know it can't be smooth sailing over there these days. I mean, come on. No, no, no. Uh, very smooth sailing with Scott's team is what I always say, but uh, just remember, I, I got a lot to do in the store. Better get to that. You just grab anything you need now. Take some candy on the way out, too. Don't me. Okay. See, around, he wants her to eat candy off of him. <clears throat> we'll do a little bit of land rush since we're him. Yeah, I never got on with how mean some people were in like a uh, dungeons on WoW. Like you'd do the dungeon finder, which you'd think would be really kind of chill. Actually start off with just a two. Yeah, you do dungeon finder because surely, you know, who kind of cares what, how much damage you do? What me? People would be mean, they'd be like, I'm not doing enough damage. And then they'd vote kick you. And then I'd cry. <laughs> and they would kick me out of the dungeon. <laughs> Loss. Oh, Lossy, big sweetie. Thank you very much for the shower. Very sweet. And I don't do low damage because I was trying to heal them because I was a shaman and I could do both. It's all right. I was only there to gamble for um, mounts anyway. <laughs> And I showed them. Oh yeah, take that, Sooners. I won. All right, go again. We need 9,000, don't forget, so. <laughs> they get too excited with the 600. I got loudly scolded in voice <laughs> a few times. Oh. I mean, I don't want to say that people took it too seriously, because I guess, you know, when you're in like one of those really high ranking, Raid guilds. I think, you know, I guess the expectation was to take it seriously, right? It's, it would be, I'd be too anxious. I think I just end up crying. I can't. I can't deal with confrontation, so I. <laughs> I really cry. Oh dear. Yeah, but I never understood it when you know when you did those like looking for dungeon or looking for raid things that were you know. For casuals that weren't in a raid guild or whatever. Get up to a thousand and we'll leave. Oh yeah, when you're going for server first or even first world boss kills, you've got to get serious. Especially if you want to be if you want to be the top guild.
I wasn't very social though, but you know, I mean, it's uh, what people said uh, made WoW so great was how kind of social it was. But <laughs> I, for one, was very glad it stopped to be. You know, it wasn't so social. Oh, nuts! I thought I was going to get that pink one. Be gray. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> it's, it's weirdly hooking, Chad. I don't. I'm like. I weirdly really like it. And that's how the West was mostly won. played by myself on WoW. Did you ever mount hunt? Right. Last one, I think. We'll just try and make it up to a thousand, and then we'll uh, call it quits. Should have gone green. Maybe we've, we're still in with a chance. I kind of do want to cut him off a bit though, so he can only go purple. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Oh, I, all right, one more time. All right, let me leave. I want to get a thousand. Well, I was weirdly addicted to a solitaire during university, so I, this isn't without... Well, this is not not within my personality. we were complaining about esports um or the esports that they're bringing to the olympics i say we you know how i was complaining about I the esports that they're bringing to the ready. olympics i think that they should i think they should play this yes it's all the same game this is just a like a mini game so if i get nine thousand of these coins i can open a mystery box mystery um mystery box loot box yeah they're playing like i i, I don't know i i the eSports, it is so weird. Yeah, so they're bringing eSports to the Olympics and they are, it's going to be like NBA basketball. But I, like, I don't want to watch, if I want to watch basketball, I'll just watch the real bas, you know, the real basketball. I, I won't watch the eSports basketball. I would have rather something like LOL or Dota or whatever, which is not already kind of being done. If that makes, does that make sense? Like, because I, I don't actually hate the idea. Um... If esports, the Olympics, I think, you know. You know, I watched my first share of HOTS tournaments that I've quite enjoyed, you know? Um, yeah, 
Yeah, it's fun though. It's really. I don't know. This, I like Land Rush. <laughs> oh, does it, does it make them change the game to patch it? All right. Who well, is congratulations, that? Nancy. From what I've seen, you got that Vegeta display set up just for <laughs> Vegeta. So go ahead and help yourself to that mousetrap. Y'all earned it. Where's the mousetrap? Help myself to I haven't seen the mouse trap to help myself to it. Mouse trap. Mm. Mm. Perhaps it should break out to allow the break from traditional sports altogether. Become its own thing. Oh, like the esports Olympics. Like they have different games. Like, you know, they oh they, they have a whole thing where, you know, they have the sports games and you don't have to watch the sports game, you know, and then they can have LOL and Dota. That would be kind of fun. I don't know where I don't I don't know where this Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. Who was that woman asking all of those questions about Scott? Ah. Now I'm not one to talk bad about people around here, but that was Brooke. <laughs> but. She is of the other team of chasers. Maybe you heard of her. I know chess at the Olympics. Oh. Hang on. Bam. Chess has got its own Olympic thing. The Chess Olympiad is a biannual chess tournament with chess teams represent nations of the world compete. It's got its own thing. I wouldn't surprise me if they didn't have like computer chess. Chess takes so long. Chess is part. Oh no! Chess is part of the esports categories. I want to watch people do chess with chess with actual pieces, not. Oh. Is she always so interested in our team? You think y'all were just about the only thing worth babbling on about her the whole state from the way she's asking questions. Gliding really? and painting? What oh, I'd love to about? see how quickly anything can you paint everything. by numbers. But mostly she fun. wants to know about any accidents y'all been having lately. She was really nosy. So are you, nosy, Nancy, just, let's be honest. All right, nosy. But she and Scott are just so much alike. Guess it makes sense they'd always be checking up on each other. Scott comes in here asking about her? Oh, without a doubt. I've enjoyed talking to you. Don't let them canoots work you too hard. Well, we've always said I'm a digital athlete, so this must be a sport. Where is this mouse trap? Sorry. Like I am, I'm doing sport right now. Look at this sport. Right, maybe it's somewhere around here. <laughs> Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. Can't check that off yet. <laughs> Can't check that off yet. Right. That's done. Cool. Haven't done that. I have checked. This is the snack section. Oh, there we go. Let me introduce you to the newest members of the Wickford. Wickford family of snacks and candies. Oh, I see. Hmm. 
long hours endurance hydration needed it's it, it's intense you gotta hold your bladder as well cud smackers gotta talk about cud smackers for one other pops Oh, where are we headed? World Museum of Mining! Oh my god, we're in Minecraft! Wow! Oh, it's kind of a lot of nothing, isn't it? That's a really shit-looking museum. I, You know, I don't want to be super rude. I don't want to be rude. But... I'm being rude. It looks kind of empty. <laughs> I'm not seeing a lot of miners. Not miners, like miners. You know, not like, I'm not, you know. They mind it all. <laughs> not those kind of miners. I wonder if we can end up with a gap. No, I don't think it should do. And slip the cud snackers in there. Oh, are you kidding? Oh, no. All right. Just slip your cud smacker in there. Part of people put up other pop or our cud smacker is. Oh, I lost. Why? You have not shared. Maybe something like this. I like how this looks like it's the cow pissing. <laughs> you know, it gives golden shower vibes. Daddy, it doesn't fit. Oh, she, oh, she wants for her. Oh, sweet loss. Got wrecked. What a sweetie. What a sweetie. Lose. I can't figure out where they. <laughs> I want to go. Maybe. Let's try putting one of these in a cud smacker. No, that doesn't fit. It has to be. I think this has to go here. If you were a Licky Loo, where would you be? Maybe something like that? Is 
something like ah, yeah, yeah. Now my cut smackers don't fit. Maybe I'm going too hard on this coffee candy. Maybe it doesn't go there. I mean, I think. Mm -mm. The other pops. If you never want to, if you wanted to suck directly from the tea, pixels. Cream-filled lollipops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remind you of your mum. <laughs> Sometimes I really wish I could stop myself before I said stuff, but here we are. Put them up there. <laughs> Maybe one day why I won't, eh? Look, I'm not prof I'm not profane enough to put the profanity filter on. I got that going for me. difficult. I feel like, you know, I am a STEM-minded individual. I'm a cut-smacking STEM-minded individual and I can't figure this out. Evan. Oh no, do you remember where you were? Puppy telling you to read faster. Just eat the chocolate instead. I mean, I would like to. Just take it, because it's the licky loos that are really putting me off. Sect, how are you doing? How's your morning going? Or your afternoon? I'm away. Oh my goodness. He doesn't fit. <laughs> God. What does this say? Auntie's acorns. Acorns. Well, you know. Just suck on Auntie's acorns, I guess. All right, let's try this. No, that's silly. That's not, that's not the right. Feeling refreshed. How's my sleuthing going? It's going all right. We've got a, uh, a tale of sabotage at the moment, which is <laughs> we're working very hard on when we're not working at the uh, local store, rearranging this guy's cud smackers. Uh, we're working very hard. <laughs> Right, there's something I'm missing. There's something I'm missing. Oh no, I just spent some of my... Not an item. 
Oh, like a, something in my brain that I'm missing. An aspect of the puzzle. Am I, can I? <gasps> I can rotate things. Oh my God, this has changed the game. Right, everything back in, it's back it, back in, Nancy. We now have 365 degree. I have stem minded individual ads. There's 365 degrees, right? Is there? No, it's not, Never mind. Right, let's uh, pretend I didn't just say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's as many degrees as there are days. Yeah. Lots of degrees. There's as many degrees as I have STEM degrees. 365 of them. <clears throat> Leap degrees, yeah. Because uh -huh. I found my degrees so easy, I practically leapt through it. Are you talking about bread? 365. Slept or slept. I mean, it was so easy. I might have, might as well have been asleep. Right. We did just purchase some chocolate that we might as well eat now. Mm. Delicious. What can I do for you, hang on, hang on a moment. I've enjoyed talking to you. Don't let them canoots work you too hard. Oh, where are we going? Oh, oh <laughs> this is new. It's the rock from Zelda. The rock from Zelda. Right? Yeah, you know what I'm going for. From Oklahoma to your Homer. Beautiful. Not enough feet for Quentin Tarantino. He's the one that's into feet, isn't he? Well, if it ain't my favorite customer. I finished up the candy display. Atta girl, here. Thanks. I'll see you in a minute, Open. Good luck. Right, we're looking for a mouse trap. That I think is meant to be in here somewhere. But kind of Lord only knows where. How's Tali being fog? How's she getting on? Hang on. I'm literally just gonna search mouse trap for it. Like, where is it? Uh. Oh, oh, ho, ho, right. Apparently this is some, like, other people didn't know where it was. That's too expensive. 
it behind well, it. Wow, if it ain't my favorite customer. I'll let you get back to work. See you soon. A little nervous outside. She isn't fighting me so much on warp. Oh, what a baby. What a baby. Oh. What a good girl. <laughs> yeah. Dog, not character. Don't worry. <laughs> Charlie in Mass Effect is still at the bottom of a cliff. He hasn't resurrected. Dougie, still as cute as ever, though. Where is this mouse trap? Near the Dust Bowl exit. Like, telling me? There it is! Got it. He's whittling a new butt plug. We got a picture of him blowing on it, if you want to see. <laughs> a set of heavy iron boots to help her sink to the bottom of the lake. I trashed my sleep schedule over the weekend. Oh, bread. Bread. What were you up to? Were you up playing Harvest Moon? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. This is going to be a big insurance claim. It's okay. It's alright, if I drive away quick enough, it's a hit and run, and they won't know, you know. If I drive away quick enough, there's no one to file the insurance claim against. It's the best I've ever driven, thank you. Hey there. My, uh, <laughs> what my driving test, driving test adjudicator said. I went to pause and got a bigger tube for that prairie dog vacuum. This okay? Well, let's find out. Let's give him a good old fucking suck. There you go. Oh. One handy dandy prairie dog vacuum. How does it work? You just turn it on, stick the tube in the hole, and all the critters in the burrows going to that hole will be sucked into the bag. That sounds a little rough. Are you sure they're going to be they okay? They like it rough. It's all right. Of course they will. Built this baby here with safety in mind. That's why it's so ugly. Now, don't forget, if there ain't any critters in the burrows going to that hole, You'll lose suction and some of the ones that you've caught will escape. You gotta make sure you catch all of them before you move them. Okay. Just keep at it and you'll do fine. There's some paw pennies in it oh. if you remember to bring this back when you're done. Paw pennies! Don't want to fall into the wrong hands. No. Prairie dog's life is rough enough as it is. Okay. All right. Anything else on your mind? Nah, that's it. That's it for now. See you around. Let's get some good old sucking done. Hello, my little friends. Oh. Look at all those dogs. Hey, Rooks, how are you doing? Trust you to turn up when we're sucking on some dogs. You know, because dogs are also what Americans call feet. Very funny. Done. Hmm, I should stay here and find a new home for the oh. prairie dogs. Right, um, you want to go here? Here you go, little guys. Good luck in your new home. What's that flash? I should go check it out. Oh no, it's the Oklahoma Flasher. Oh, it kind of looks like the money box I found at the farmhouse. 
terms that are agreed series of CB with CCs on CG from an HP Adam by June 2nd. Upon delivery, payment will be rendered on the amount of 550. <gasps> oh my God, I think, I think he's paying people to start tornadoes. That's what they're calling their new computer bread. The HP Storm. We'll go as slow as our last computers. Hey there. I'm all done with okay, the prairie dog money. vacuum. Here you go. Give me money. All right, then. How much money are you going to give me? Only a hundred? I'll check back with you later. Bye now. Dingy. Yeah, I think he's, pay he's paying for tornadoes. I do want to have a level one. Can I do? Oh, okay, well. I want to see if we can get some more pennies. I don't know. I I don't know. I feel like Nancy Drew isn't that kind of unrealistic, you know? Usually people, usually the game is pretty grounded in reality. So I don't know how realistic it is to pay someone to start a tornado. You know? I don't know if that's something you can do. pretty good at these look at this it's fucking speed demon out of me that was mean This is a tricky one. I think I exit. I'm taking my par, par coins. All done. I'm taking my coins and I'm Too leaving. Bad. You only get half of what you had coming. Oh, to you. Susan. 
Susan, cover your fucking modesty. Goodness sake. Goodness sake. Check. Haven't done that. Find something check. tasty. Can't check that off yet. Oh, I wonder if we want to use the corn. Brewing up a stinky old tornado. The coziest dog I've ever seen. She's a silly sausage. Still <laughs> not afflicted with original sin. Yeah, and you could do uh... it. <laughs> Surprises me. Should smell her farts and then tell me that she's not afflicted with any sin. Right, I need some corn. Where was that bag of corn that I found? I'm sure that I did. Have you been injured in a carousel accident or darkroom mishap? Let the legal team at Hearthstone and Sharp get you the money you deserve. We cover the whole range of workplace related accidents. Lava accidents. There we go. <gasps> oh, hello, baby. I don't think they like that. Whatever your problem. Oh, sorry. They don't want to be touched. Fair enough. Legal services. Call Hearthstone at Sharp. 1-888-555-6353. Do they not like the... Do I have to buy them some, like, chocolate or something? What the... Do they want... Do they... Maybe they want some chocolate. Yeah, maybe I want some could. The moon snack with the trees! Oh, you're so right. Christ. Hang on, let me just regen my health. Oh, your mum taught me how to drive. <laughs> so I've, I have already died once to a road-related accident. Very tragic, fatal error. Yeah, don't worry. So my dad's a lawyer and my boyfriend sold me the, uh... <laughs> sold me my insurance, so I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah, you can die in a sea, yeah. It comes up with like, oh, a fatal error. You know it means that Nancy's dead. You can, you can run people off the road though, it's kind of fun. They will sometimes hit you, but if you're lucky, if you hit people in just the right way, it'll cause a pile up and they'll all start hitting each other. And at that point you're exempt from, you know, any wrongdoing. Because they're just hitting and hitting themselves. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Nancy, you ate it. Nancy, please. Mm. 
I'm so angry. <laughs> Anyone who looks at me wrong on the road is getting hit. Oops, I ate the bait. Got a bit snacky, you know? No, put the balls back. Bash is allowed on the roads. Get out of my way. Am I going the wrong way? I should have bought two. I really should have, in case we misclicked. See, we only had one accident that time. It wasn't so bad. Hello. This corn futures hold steady amidst heavy trading. Stop. Cafe this week for our most ambitious special to date: free pie and coffee to the first twenty people in the door. And we got it. You will have to see what hey, Gary. Gary. I better make sure to fill <gasps> all of the traps. Great place to get food. The sooner you get rid of those things, the better. Oh, I think I understand. There he goes. Hey, Mango. Yeah. What you got going on this weekend? Hopefully, it's not another stomach virus. It's like they're doing a lovely, lovely dance, isn't it? Oh dear. Go. Should do it. Look at all those rats. Wonderful. I got them. Well, finally. Now take them outside and dump them. The spring house out on Old Orchard Road. That should be far enough away. Okay. Let them go there. You got it. Go and shopping. Oh, you have a good time. Nice. I like to take his car so that if I crash it, you know, kind of. He's the one footing the bill. Uh, we want to go clean up the corn. The corn stays. We're 18, don't worry. Don't worry, we've been driving for like five years in America. Nancy's even, even engaged to be married to Ned, don't forget. Oh, Nancy's real. Nancy's real in here, right? Yeah, Ned's here. <laughs> it's idea of dirty talk he's hearing about potential insurance claims. Oh, I ripped off this old grandma's windows the other day. Oh, Ned, I hit this lorry and it spilled yogurt all over the road. Oh dear, we went the wrong way. Adult 
world Nancy drew is 18. Oh my god, they hit me. Oh, now I'm now I'm angry. Ooh. Cheeseburger. Raina, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you very much. Welcome in. I think I'm up. Alright, I've done all of my jobs. Let's move! This storm is about to go critical! We need to get out in the field now. You're riding point with Frosty. Scott and I will be tracking the storm. All right. Let's go! <laughs> Unfortunately. Not this one. Something tells me this isn't the right car. We're gonna get a twister! How many power pennies will he pay me? Where am I going? I'm riding point? Wait, Turn what's... back! Oh my god, you're so angry. This way? Oh god, I'm sorry. Oh Christ. And don't worry, I've got the fortune cookie here, Mr. West. I don't know where he wants me to go. I'm confused and I'm frightened. Viewpoint. Cool, cool, cool. Oh. You're going the wrong no, way. No, I'm not. Oh, gosh. Tornado. There's the there's the there's the NATO. Turn back. There we go. Oh, check that out. Yeah. <laughs> no. GPS no, looks no, like no. that. Shoot. You're going the wrong way. Here, fix it. I've got to keep shooting stills. Oh my god. I have to. I've got a fortune cookie. What the fuck is this? Oh. Do, no, I don't. I don't understand. Mr. West, you will. Soon gain Dead something gum. you've always yeah. wanted. Dang gum! <laughs> Thank you, okay. Dang gum, look at you! Oh, I understand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, dear. Thirteen? Oh dear. Oh Christ. Um. Oh my God. Can I just, uh, can I have a moment to just move this around, please? The music's a little bit, a little bit intense. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Oh, just reset it. <laughs> it's the West No. Uh, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't understand how fourteen, thirteen. There we go. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Get it together, Nancy. Oh my God! I'll get it to you. This is a this. I am doing a very difficult puzzle here. I'm a step-minded individual, and I don't want to be rushed. Twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Uh, my dog just farted. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, God, it stinks, 32, 
41. Okay. Oh Lord. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she's a she's a very chilled out, stinky lady. <laughs> Her bowels are so relaxed that they keep uh, they keep going off. <laughs> we need this to be up here. Twenty nine. Well, I mean, twenty nine has to be there, right? Fart nado, shart nado. The worst. Yeah, the, the worst thing is when she looks at her own butt and she looks offended, and I'm like, "This is your doing. Like, you've got no one to blame but yourself. Your stinky self." Oh, where am I? Oh, this is new. Play dance theatre? Nude karaoke! Oh my god. It's one of those... <laughs> These are some great shots. One of those strip malls that you guys have. <laughs> we are the ones feeding her. We are. Right. 30... <laughs> nude carry. Hang on, I'm just gonna start again. Right, so 31. <laughs> America has, really has everything. Thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. So I think this is where we end up going wrong. Because twenty could go up here, it could go down here. Except for restraint! Look. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of restraining orders at the nude karaoke bar. Yeah, we could try working from the end of the other end. Also something that's been said at the nude karaoke bar. The problem with karaoke is clothes. Well, I mean, they say you get more confidence when you see people in their underwear. Right? Isn't that what they, they say? Who can lip sync with pants on? I mean, <laughs> certainly not me. <laughs> uh, that seems right. Maybe. That could also be like this. 87, 86. 84. 83. 83. Has to go something like that. Da, 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 da. 81. Put that shouldn't there. be taking you this long. I'm working on it. I am. Look, STEM takes time. Did you pressure Albert Einstein? No, I don't think so. Seventy nine, seventy eight, seventy seven, seventy six, seventy five, seventy four, seventy three, two. So one of these is in the wrong place because we possibly like that. Seventy nine, seventy eight, seventy seven, seventy six, seventy five, seventy four, seventy three, seventy 
That kind of looks good, doesn't it? This music gets my heart racing. Oh, do you mean, <laughs> and the puzzle, right? The puzzle gets your heart racing too. What about the nude karaoke? Does that get, <laughs> there's a lot going on, you know, a lot of heart <laughs> thumping stuff going on. I need to move 80 and 81, you think? What, so something like that? Oh, 80 has to go down there. Heart thumping action in Nancy Drew. Sixty nine, nice. Where's sixty seven? Oh, it's there. Oh, well, sixty nine, sixty eight, sixty seven, sixty six. Sixty nine by uh, We're fixing his camera because he dropped dropped it. My wee cart can't take all the six. He's absolutely fucking buzzing, having the time of his life. Sixty eight. Where the fuck is sixty seven? Am I? I feel. I. I. Oh, I see it. I see it. I'm blinded through sheer excitement. 63. 62. No. Fuck, 62. The oh. one. Fifty-nine needs to go somewhere. Is 59 to go. Yeah, it seems like it's just supposed to be kind of a connect, do it all in a line. Macho! Hit her done, Badger! Hit her done! I'll get it done, alright. Oh, is it your mum last night? <laughs> oh dear. So we have fucked it. We have. In un no uncertain terms, something has gone horribly wrong. I can move eight. Oh, look at that, Chad. And then 63. And then. And 68. 67. Then we do get into a little bit of a sticky wicket with where 66 go. 56, sorry. A little bit of a sticky wicket. Oh no, we're right. Right. Sticky wicket traversed. Da, da, da. <laughs> this music is so out of place. 49. 48. 47, 46, 45, 44. Oh, we're getting close. 43, 40, 39. Thirty-seven. Six. Oh, face bags. It's alright, it's alright, we've got this. 
I don't think we've got this. 41 and 42 aren't connected. Oh. They're connected. Oh. Weather's really whipping up. Whip my cream, mince my meat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Because at some point we're going to need to fill in these. I think perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Something has gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Maybe something. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe something like this. Maybe. Maybe. No, 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 no breaks. The best way to solve a puzzle is to bang your head up against it until... <laughs> Look, blinking is where you fail, okay? Only... Only chumps blink. That's what my optometrist says to me. My optometrist says only nerds blink. And I no ain't no nerd. Ain't no little fucking nerd. Only nerds want good eye health. Alright? Now they're not touching though. Very unfortunate. Oh no, they are touching. Alright. Something's not touching. Oh, it's fine. Don't worry, it doesn't need a touch yet. Thirty-six needs to move. Yeah, it does. Down to here? Oh, that's tasty. But then we've got this random empty little blob blobo. And we don't want an empty blobbo. Could we just put this here? Oh, yeah, we could. Nothing's worse than an empty blobbo. I am slightly concerned about this empty blobbo, though. It's fine. Don't think about our failures. Until they become so prevalent you can't ignore them anymore. Oh, you should. Um, which which Nancy Drew is this? It's the trailer, the trailer, the twister. It's a little like <laughs> some of the tornado stuff is a little bit harrowing. Um, <laughs> other than that, it's a barrel of laughs, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, it's great fun. I did choose Juno Detective. Why are you mentioning bread? Hmm? <laughs> Have you got something to say about my junior detective? Hmm? I actually chose Big Daddy Detective. <laughs> 
That's a beauty. Oh my god. Okay, Christ. okay. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> Hang on. I'm not looking up the answer. I'm not. I think I did it wrong. Imagine, how would you know that if you didn't just look up the answer? I looked up what was in this corner. I wanted to see what numbers it was. And it should be these two numbers, which means I've probably done something horrifically wrong. It should actually be this way around. It means, it means I've done something. I think you're supposed to use deduction. <laughs> Deducting minutes off my life. <laughs> Move 53. Night to E3! 53! Oh, I see, I see, I see. So maybe something's incorrect about these ones? Because that, this, like, this seems right. This feels right. I reckon there's something incorrect. Yeah, happening. Yeah with the ones I originally put in. So like 15, 17, 15, 13, 11, 12, 8. We go from 21. Fine. We would want 19 somewhere. Yeah. Oh god, 19's over there. Because of course it is. Oh! Yeah? Oh, I've got it. I've got it. Lads. This is why Nancy Drew should be an eSport. Take back what I said. Just, just give me a moment. I've been humbled. Immediately hum Oh, yeah, that's all right. I fixed it. Here you yeah! go. Frosty. Just in time. Thanks. Uh oh, we got some trouble. The funnel is headed right for that building. <laughs> Look at that. Knock that I don't know what you'd call this. Like, um... As it <laughs> Thank God, just, just in time for the twister. A Doppler puzzle? The internet's telling me. Thing. I thought you said you fixed it. I did fix it. Oh Let's my God, there was the no homestead. point. Lads, there was no so, point. Still think tornadoes are cool? No. No, I don't. Not really, no. I mean, it's one thing when they're out in the open, but what happens when they hit a populated area? I'll have a look. <sighs> that isn't cool at all. <sighs> what a disheartening day. I didn't, I didn't, I swear, I only looked at two numbers. And we failed to get so much as one inch of footage on it, thanks to you. What do you mean, thanks to me? Frosty says you failed to fix his video camera in time to record anything. But... <sighs> But that's not true. I fixed it in plenty of time. Yeah, sure, I did. Look, Definitely, I don't want to hear excuses. Right? Just go. Call it a day and make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Okay. So we haven't found any crime yet, but I'm thinking about committing one. Um, 
Let's see whether I can see what type of puzzle it is. Because uh, I've definitely seen these pi puzzles, be this, these pistols before. I know what you'd call them. Somebody said like a Doppler puzzle in the walkthrough. Mm. Uh. Number puzzle that you um number puzzle count up but numbers in right place. Doppler only comes up at Nancy Drew stuff. <laughs> it's Nancy's Nancy's custom puzzles. I don't know. Uh, snake snake puzzles? Snake puzzles. Cause it's kinda like a snake. No crime but lots of rude people. Crimes against <laughs> personality crimes. What's up? Oh. That's it for now. That's it. Have fun. Yeah, long chain of numbers. Gonna go Time out to and call cry. Day, Nancy. Hit the sack and I'll see you first thing in the morning. <laughs> I'll do what I want, Debbie. Deborah's always on my ass. And not in a good way. Hang on, I've just got I've got to blow off some steam. Right, my real mum, Deborah. Gotta make sure I hit my insurance quota for Ned. He's gonna love hearing about that one. Oh yeah, that was a good one. Right, I uh, I wanted to go to the store. Get out of my way. <laughs> that car reminded me of Deborah. Just head over to the saloon to pl play my good old gamba puzzle. <laughs> All right. I gotta, we gotta finish off a, another hard day detecting. I don't know. I'm making a bit of a pig's ear out of this one, lads. We might be okay. Numbricks. Numbricks. I feel like Snake Puzzle was a better name for it. Do they have them um, that you can do online? Like Sudoku's. <laughs> Pigs are very cute ears. Very tasty. <laughs> I win. Nice. Bring on the pennies. Bring on the pennies. I've never tried a pig's foot. They look a little bit too gelatinous for me, you know? Never repealed. Oh. Oh, that went well. I'm partial to a bit of Sudoku myself. I've always been awful at, like, word puzzles. I don't mind Wordle. Wordle's all right. But, uh, like, crosswords I'm awful at. <laughs> I'm looking at numbers now. <laughs> you should do some on stream. Hi, guys. I've got this really cool new game. It's called Numbrics. 
Olympic esports, how quickly can you complete your numbericks? Purple? No, grey. Well, I love this new thing called Land Grab. This is my, f this is my favorite game. It's my new favorite game. This will be getting the Captain Badgertail number one award, Land Grab. Sure to have tense music in the background. <laughs> With someone uh, calling you names as well and telling you you're not going fast enough. Yes, I win. We need 9,000 coins. Because we need 9,000 coins to buy the loot box. God, this sounds like... <laughs> sounds like every game made in 2023. I need to make me coins to get me loot box for the day. If I log in to WoW one more time today, I'll get 10 more gold coins that I can use to buy another loot box. This is how they get you, kids. This is how they get you. <laughs> and in each loot box, I've got a 0.01% chance of getting a golden Alex Straws amount. <laughs> oh. Yeah, did my Tetris 99 daily challenge 997 tickets. <laughs> What are you going to spend your tickets on? Uh. Nothing. <laughs> the background's already. <laughs> oh. oh, no. I win. Bring on the pennies. 1,400. I think the more pennies, <laughs> the more pennies we have, <laughs> the more pennies we get, which means each penny that we get takes us exponentially towards our loot box goal, which makes it exponentially more, uh, more worth our time, right? In other news, the European court will, will be using this stream as an example about why they want to ban loot boxes. Yeah, and this, this stream chat is the reason why. God damn Score! these kids and the Nancy, Nancy Drew loot boxes. Again. 1600, look at that. 200 a time. I mean, I, so <laughs> in defense of loot boxes, I always think uh, loot boxes that you don't have to pay for. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's like in HOTS. I would never spend real money on skins. But then HOTS started doing, you could get... You could earn gold or whatever it was. Or you would, you would get loot boxes given to you over time. And they would contain skins. Yeah, human skins. They'd send you them in the mail. Um... If you got enough, you would get Bobby's, Bobby's skin. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'd never, I'd never actually pay for a skin. Um, so it was quite nice that I then got, I essentially got free skins in a game I was going to play anyway, you know? Finally got that pirate full stead skin that I wanted. 
where I, sh I share my skin collection. I win. Bring on the pennies. This gold light. I always thought it was lined with tears, Greg. All right. <laughs> so silly. So in conclusion, that's why Here is the Storm is the best game ever made. And when Microsoft buys Blizzard, I hope they bring it back. Feel like pure shit. Just want hots back. Better than cars. Better than cars. It's better than any game that I've ever played. Elden Ring. I haven't played it, but better than that. <laughs> Didn't they already buy? No, I think uh, the UK is holding it up at the moment. Not that. Not, not I holding it up. Like you know that it's a. Uh, I think the UK has some time to appeal the ruling or whatever. Better than Red Dead. Score! Nancy Drew wins again. Better than Number Bricks. Num Bricks. All right, last one, lads. Better than Mary Kate Magical Mystery Ball. Oh, they got past the UK block, did they? And we're up to 1982. A fantastic year for wine. No, I don't drink wine. It just felt like the right thing to say. <laughs> Hang on, I'm sure I can give you an actual fact about 1982. The year Mr. West's grandma was born and she has aged like a fine wine. It is the year that E.T. came out, apparently. The year, uh, lots of wars, lots of <laughs> I'm scrolling down, I'm just trying to find something a bit, a bit fucking jolly. Oh, an attempted coup. How nice. Um, hey, anonymous. Oh, dang, hang on. It's clogged up. It's clogged up. Much like my bowels. It's a little bit clogged, a little bit claggy. Hang on. I'm always ready to help those who are less fortunate. Well, that's just peachy. Give me, Give me all your money then. Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting us up to the best game in the world. Heroes of the Storm. I want Nancy Drew for heroes. Nancy Drew for hots, please. <laughs> You're not. Thank you. Right, lads. Epcot and Disney opened in 1982. That's a happy. That's a that's bit fucking jolly, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah, there's a lot of... Lot of a lot of, uh, a lot of gub that happened in 1982. Oh, there was a Nobel Prize in physics for Kenneth. How lovely. Four years ago. No links for us. Bread, no links for us. This is a no Zelda zone. Uh, I don't know why it's broken. But it has. <laughs> it has. <laughs> so, <laughs> no links. You can all leave now. There's nothing, there's nothing for you to click. <laughs> Rest in peace, Badger Droid. Ripperoni and Pepperoni. I will be back tomorrow, though, for, uh... Sam and Max for playing tomorrow. Playing Sam and Max. 
on Wednesday, we are going to be playing Sam and Max, like I just said. It's because tomorrow is Wednesday. Tomorrow and Wednesday are the same entities. Um, and... Christ. <laughs> and uh, no stream on Friday. No stream on Friday. I'm taking Friday off again for medical reasons. So no stream on Friday. We will be back on Monday with uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. Two streams tomorrow. A double bill. A double bill. They're happening at the same time, though, so it's a little bit awkward. Right. I'm going like, to let you guys leave. Let you guys leave. No press. And I will see you tomorrow for another lovely stream. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Go watch the VODs. There's no, there's no link to them, but go watch them. <laughs> there, there it is! Go watch them. Go click on that link and go, go look at them. Go, wow. They are some amazing VODs. <laughs> Thank you, friend. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Tuesday. It's Tuesday today. Wednesday is tomorrow, as we've already established. And I will see you then. <laughs>